Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Otter Point Streaming. We are here at the 2024 Monica Webb's Battle of the Junior Championships. I want to welcome everybody. I am Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck, and in the booth with me for this wonderful event is a very special friend of mine, uh, which we will get into a little story about that. But um, hold on, do you have your? You got your hat? Oh wait, hold on. You got to get your hat. Great. Oh, hold on, I got. All right, sorry. We had to, uh, before I turn the camera on, we had to get our hats here because there is a, uh, there's an individual. His name is Scott. Yeah, we got to <laughs> <No. laughs> manipulate this a little bit. Yeah, we, we got to put our, uh, our, ear he our, our headsets on kind of to the side here so, so we can hear. But um, <clears throat> there's an individual down here at Sticks Billiards. His name is Scott. He is such a great guy. He is a... Uh, a fellow veteran who uh, we met down here at uh, Sticks Billiards. And uh, last year he had this hat on that I'm like, oh, my God, I love that hat. I need one of those. I said, where can I get one? He's just like, I got gotcha. you. So I arrived down here, and immediately he hands two hats to me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we're loving this. So anyway, I'm going to turn. Okay, we are live right now. Okay, so look up and wave at the camera there. Well, I have Mr. Joe Vermiglio in the booth with me for this wonderful event here. Say hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> he follows direction real well, so yep. we're going to get along real good here. This will be easy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn his camera off of us right now because we look like, you know, we're holding these the, the headsets up, but these hats are just the coolest thing. So I'm going to get you out here, too. What is going on in this arena? So you can see all the players. Um, here are the two tables that are set up. So real quickly, we're... Um, um, okay, I'm taking this hat off right now. <laughs> you can take it off. Yeah. So anyway, those are the, the cowboy hats uh, with the stars and stripes and the flag on it that uh, I absolutely loved. And Scott got us some. So they're lining up all the kids right now. And as a matter of fact, there's, there's Big Scott. Hey, Scott, wave to the ca wave to the camera up there. Wave. No. Hey, Scott, wave to the camera up there. No, back. Hold on. Go back. Go back a little further. There you go. Now wave to there. He is. There's Scott waving to the camera. Hey, there we go. <laughs> he is uh, going to be one of our referees for today. Um, Frosty the Snowman. Frosty. <laughs> Um, these guys are absolutely awesome. I mean, everybody down here has just been so nice as as usual. It's like the they call it what the Georgia hospitality, isn't yeah. it? Yep, this Georgia is absolutely amazing. And to see all these wonderful junior players is also just. I mean, you got Cheney White. I uh, see a couple of kids from last year. A lot of new faces. There was the the team team has actually won last year, so they are back. And uh, defending their title. And uh, then we've got a bunch of new players here. But I tell you what, there's going to be some great pool here. So back to what I was starting to explain before was there was this uh, individual who was streaming down here. I actually helped them set up their stream down here. Um, Steve Copeland, really nice guy. Um, he had actually called me while we were down here last year. He had asked me about some information about streaming. And I shared some with him. And I actually... I love the fact that more people are streaming and I'll do anything to help somebody out. So he had given me a call several times and I helped him with the equipment and set up and, and different things. And he got a system set up down here. But apparently just recently they bought or they're opening up a new place about 20 minutes away. And he unfortunately had to last minute because some issues came up with their new place. He had to cancel being able to stream one of the tables. So last minute, Eddie said, oh, do you have any suggestions for streaming the other table? And I said, well, we could bring Meeble cameras. And, and we got Tracy Lerma joining us here in the booth. What's up, Tracy? What up, what up everybody? I hope everyone's having a great day. It's uh, a little rainy here in Villarica, but we're excited to get this party started. The juniors are excited, and I have a post that I just posted. So if you're not following me, check me out on it's called Tracy Lerma, the diva or diva. 
Hit that follow button and you'll get to see some great clips from today's show. Good luck, guys. Sweet. Make sure you, uh, if you didn't hear too much at Tracy Lerma, uh, check her out. Follow her at Tracy Lerma, the diva. Um, but she's got a lot of good stuff that she's posting out regarding the tournament today. So if you're not there, uh, share or uh, get on there and like her and follow her. And you'll see a bunch of uh, stuff from today besides the stream here. And while you're at it, please, if you would, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for us. We certainly appreciate it. So anyway, back to the story. And I apologize. I'm going back and forth here. But um, uh, so we had the last minute uh, come up with a solution to stream both tables. And have it, you know, look, de instead of two Mevo cab, uh, cameras going off to one of the tables and kind of looking like not so well and no commentary and no score or nothing, this is the look that you will get here today. This is going to be our two-table look, uh, the long view, and then we also have the side view that we will be presenting to you. And again, I apologize for some of it. Um, I I tried to do the best I could to make sure we were able to get you everything that we could. Matter of fact, i got to move this one over here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to readjust while we're doing this. Oh, let me get that over there a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. All right, perfect. So, oh, all right, i got to just step out here for a second. Uh, Joe, why don't you talk a little bit? Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about you. A little bit about me. Well, I don't know much about pool. From Wisconsin, uh, the only reason I'm here is kind of a last-minute thing. A good friend of mine, Natasha, set me up with Brian to come and help him uh, bring his equipment down here. And now I am helping out in the booth. So, and I can't thank you enough, Joe. No, thanks for the opportunity. I always no. like a free vacation. Yeah, but dude, you, uh, you <laughs> have, I tell you, you are a lifesaver, man. I, I really, I seriously, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, can't thank you enough, man. It was, uh, it just like, like it was Natasha. The star, hey, the stars aligned. One of the veteran I mean? brothers to another. I'm I, helping you. I appreciate that, brother. I really do. So they are ready and set to battle it out here. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on this view right here for you. Oh, let me get, uh, I apologize. I want to get, I got to get all the maintenance stuff set up here. So if you could, uh, Joe, help me out with... Um, If you could help me out with national anthem, um, I don't know if they're are they doing a national. You know what? Um, if you could help me out, watch uh, watch the um, the. Uh, sorry, we're getting some. Uh, I got Eddie over here. <clears throat> Jack Seaboy in the house. What's up, Jax? Man, I miss your brother. You and your dad. Don't know if, I uh, think you guys had something come up. You couldn't come down, but uh, hopefully I'll see you soon sometime. What's up, Al Jordan? <laughs> I was in Afghanistan. <laughs> oh, I tell you, it'd be a lot, uh, it's a it's, lot warmer over there. But actually, it's actually been pretty nice down here, but no, I wasn't in uh, sewing soccer balls, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Dakota Rivera says, Hollingsworth team, let's go. So we can send these over here, which we will do time to time as they come through. We certainly appreciate everybody tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming. I think we're waiting for the national anthem, right? Is that what we're I doing? I think he's trying to find somebody. Neat place, though. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? We have 14 tables all together. Yeah, two seven footers and two nine footers. Yeah. All diamonds. Nine footers were re -clothed, what, a week ago or so? Pool is alive. 
Yes, sir, it is. This is the first time for me seeing these youths, man. This is pretty cool. There's some players out here that are incredible. It, isn't it, though? That's what I like about this sport. You don't need to be 6'5 and 270 pounds stacked. You can be anything and be a pool player. Hmm. I'm trying to get. Uh, I'll have to do that after we. Uh, after tonight. So, unfortunately, uh, Twitch is not going to get on. Huh? All right. Nick Heiser, get me one. Don't worry, he's here. What's up, Nick? Good to see you in the chat there, brother. Another fellow veteran, captain of our Navy team in our Battle of the Branches. All right, so actually what I'm going to do is while we're doing this, I'm going to get you a... Let's go back to that other view so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. That way you're not out of the loop. So they are just uh, kind of organizing some things. I love this camera. It's it's so isn't it cool? We yeah. can just kind of zoom around, zoom around, and we're gonna do a close up of who? Which Jose. one? Jose. How about Jose B? Where? B. They're both over there. <laughs> <laughs> Big Nick. So yeah, Jose, as he, the guy standing right there with the with his back to you, uh, kind of looking like the Eddie Altman, the bald head there. That's actually, um, did, uh, what's his name? Do you remember what his name was? Jose's uh, father. What it? Jose. That's all he said. It was Jose, Jose, Jose. Yeah, that's the that's the kid. So it was him. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why I said Jose B and C. Oh, all right. So we got Jose, senior. And Jose Jr. is actually his son. Well, he kind of told me a little bit about uh, foster dad. All right, so I just tested the jukebox out. I could, I could crank up the national anthem on the jukebox. Okay. So it's playing out right now. Okay. So as soon as this one's done, I love this shot, man. Yeah, that's, uh, that's leave awesome. Leaving it on that until we start. That's so. awesome. All right, so we had Eddie just come up here, and they are playing the national anthem. But this year, as you guys remember from last year, we had uh, a little junior player actually sing the national anthem. But this year, I guess nobody volunteered, and I'm glad that Eddie didn't volunteer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we are going to actually, in just a moment here, we are going to pause our microphones here and stand as we will be playing the national anthem to get this thing started and I am going to leave it on this right now so you can watch the players as as we get going with our national anthem so we will be back in just a minute I'm actually going to leave one of the microphones on to hopefully catch the national anthem but uh, we're going to I'm going to leave the, the microphone on but there will be a pause in the commentary for just a second. We'll be back. That is a good, that's a good picture. I like that. We should circle and I'm not telling you what to do. Oh, I, I didn't realize there was a team over there. Unfortunately, I can't get that team. All right, so we are actually, we're discussing, we're trying to get the team over to the side there. All right, so they're cranking the, they're cranking the jukebox, but it's not on the national anthem yet, so. <clears throat>
Okay, that's not the national anthem, and I don't want us to get cut off on YouTube, so I'm going to mute this for a second. So, Nick, I just asked Scott where he got those from. He's like, don't worry about it. I said, well, I got another veteran that wanted one of those. He's just like, well, he's going to have to wait another year. He won't tell me where he got them because he wants to get it for you. So, all right, National Anthem is now being played. So it'll be paused for a second. We are back, and we are ready to roll. Ready to roll. 
All right, so we are trying to get the sheets. Uh, I'm actually going to be right back. I'm going to try to get the sheets of the, the players that are going to be playing against each other. I know Eddie had sent us. Oh, are you going to go? Okay, go. Eddie had sent uh, a copy of a, a score sheet, So, but we only have one. So I am. Joe's going to go and try to get the other ones here, and it looks like. Do, 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 do. Uh, I am looking up right now, Eddie Altman. So, right now we currently, okay, so they are lagging, lagging it out right now, and I'm going to get you over to, I get you over to, this one right here. Excuse me. All right, so McBride won the lag on the left table there, table one. We got table two starting. Big break there, two on the break. Nice. Very nice done. Nicely done. Um, all right, I'm going to put you over to this side here now, so it's a little easier to watch. Uh-oh. We, uh, we got a little issue with one of the cameras over there. Okay, I apologize for that. Um, we had to readjust the camera. Uh, unfortunately, because we're getting the... Well, not unfortunately. Fortunately, the way we were able to get these two done here. Uh, we're going to update the scoreboard here in a second, but um, we had to get the this, this sheet. Okay, so they're getting the sheet. So apologize we don't have the scoreboard running because, unfortunately, we don't know which... Which teams are so? This is the team event right now. So every every member is going to play. Each member is going to play the other another member of the other team. Uh, race to five, and that'll be for a point. Each match is five points. No, no, it's uh, each match is worth one point. Race to seventeen. It's a race to five. Oh yeah, okay. A race to five. And then, so whoever wins that match gets a point for their team. And it's a race to seven matches. 17 points.
Okay, so clarification, yes. So it's a race to five as far as the match. And then if you if you win that match, that's one point. And they're racing the seven points total yes. overall. Yes. Okay, so last year we did to nine points. And they're trying to just re we tried to reduce that down just so could shorten it up a little bit. So, again, uh, apologize for the players or the, the scoreboard not being correct because we're waiting on the score sheets to align the teams up properly, and then we can give you a... Who's who? A proper point total. <clears throat> and who's who. And it looks like these two, uh, these two games might, might end at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I said this was going to be a little bit quicker than we think. So what we're going to do is we'll explain the scoreboard to you is the outside boxes will be, <clears throat> excuse me, the current game and how many, how many games they have. All right, Joe, take it, a little, take it away for a little bit while I uh, update the scoreboard here. All right. Mr. McBride has the eight ball here. To get to the that nine. Was a nine ball. Oh, oh, you're talking about this one over here. Yeah, oh. table A, <laughs> table <laughs> A, Brian. table A. Well, we're, we're going to call it table one and table two because that's how we have it on the on the screen on the screen. Then that way people don't because they actually with the players they assigned the tables as table A and table B, but we have it table one, table two. <laughs> oh, he's we're already caught, confused. He's cutting this one. Oh, nice shot! Wow! Oh my God! Great position. Very nicely you. done. You just said he just came back from Vegas for the last three weeks with his mom playing out there. I didn't get a lot of info on him, but I just know he's he came right here from Vegas. Plays on the Pro Tour, I believe. And there's one point. You got that. All right, sorry about that. We had uh, somebody come up and was trying to find the YouTube channel, so we had to get him on that. Um, so I got sheets for one of the matchups here. And I think, trying to figure out which one this, this one is here.
All right, so we got table two updated as far as the teams. <coughs> so we got team Hollingsworth and team Makani. And I'm not quite sure who won the first game on that one. Oh, I didn't see. I was watching table A. Table one. Yeah. Remember, we got to go table one, table two. <laughs> We're going to confuse I know. Our, I'm just going to try to confuse <laughs> you. I know when he said uh, A and B. <clears throat> Impressed with these kids, yeah. man. Donna Ernst, go Hayden. Al says, I'll probably ban the national anthem on YouTube next. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Al. It's fortunate. Dean Lanthrop, where can I find the bracket? Unfortunately, what's up, Dean? How are you, man? Good to see you in the book, uh, in the in the channel here. Um, unfortunately, there is no bracket because this is kind of like Moscone Cup style. Okay, so Ernst, Ernst won that game. So that gives... Team Hollingsworth. Team Hollingsworth. At least one. And they might have two, so I apologize. Um, I will do we, go we don't know the name out. of the team on table one, do we? Uh, but there is no bracket. Uh, this is on paper because they're making out their schedules just kind of like the Moscone Cup does. Brad Silver says, let's go Jose Vincetti. Oh, Players table one. On the one right of the side. orange is table. Is that Team Hess? Mm -hmm. Table one is Team Hess? Yeah, Team Hess. And I don't know what the other team is. So I was waiting for the score sheet for that one. But Team so. Hess is the one who won it last year? Team S is the one that won it last year. Yes, sir. So we're going to update that team for now. And again, this is a race to five. So whichever team wins five first gets the first point for the team event. So the, again, back to the, let's um, just want to quickly explain the, <clears throat> the scoreboard here. So the boxes on either side of the logo here are, is what the race is to. The next box next to that is actual, their current point, points that they have. So as uh, obviously both, all teams will have zero at this point, at this time. Once they win an event, they will have one point. And then the boxes on either side, or on the outer sides of the scoreboard, are current games that they have at this point. Table one only has one game down, right? Table one what? Only has one game down right now? Team uh, Table 1 does have a game down, but I don't know who won it. So I'm going to go and try to find oh, out. Oh, Hess did. Hess did, remember? Oh, uh, Hess, Team Hess won that one? Yeah. Okay. Um, Glad you're here to help me follow on that. <laughs> it's it's going to be with doing two tables. It's, it's going to be tough. You know, We're going to do it, but it, it's going to be it's gonna be tougher than uh, just doing one. So please bear with us, folks. We appreciate you being uh, gentle on us. Yeah. Two games, not points for Hollingsworth. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you, you are correct, Eddie. So it's two games, not points. So yeah, let, let we got to differentiate that too. So sure. Thank you for that, Eddie. You are absolutely correct. We don't want to confuse our view. We just started. We will confuse them now. We'll confuse them really the confuse rest them. of the weekend. <laughs> it's going to be a long weekend. All right. Pocus Pocus in the house. What's up, Bill Larson? Oh, Team Hollingsworth won for... Oh, thank you, Eddie. I appreciate that. So, Team Hollingsworth. At least somebody was watching, right? Well, I think Eddie Eddie wants a job here. Right? Eddie, why don't you come on out? We'll get, we'll get you... Uh, you're hired, man. Come on out. You're not going to like the pay, but <laughs> you can come on out and help us out. Oh, nice try. <laughs> Appreciate that. 
Yeah, edit. Yeah, some someone on the uh, someone on our uh, one of our parents came up and said Team Hollingsworth has two. So again, I knew this was going to be a little we'll get it right. a little confusing here in the beginning with all <laughs> with everything to to make sure we get going. <clears throat> And unfortunately, I'm going to go and see who Team Hess is playing just so we can get that updated. Oh, okay. you're going to? Okay. All right. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. Again, we appreciate everybody tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming. I'm Brian Holly Lee Hollenbeck. And joined with me in the booth for this wonderful event is Joe Vermiglio. Actually, his I told him, I said, we got to come up with a nickname for you. He's like, I don't have one. I said, well, don't make me come up with one for you. I said, what did they call you like throughout your life? High school, grade school, whatever. He's like, well, the Italian Stallion. So he is Joe, the Italian, Italian Stallion Vermiglio. All right. So we have Bryant. And I apologize. I wish I had the sheets for these these kids' names to know what their full name was. So I apologize. Just calling by their last name. But we got Mr. Bryant here. Gonna finish this one off. Did you find? Oh yeah, well. Names. Hola. The names of the team are yellow team, orange team, red team, and green team. Alrighty. Um, that's I guess what they came up with so far. Well, no, we need uh, no, we need uh, the captain's last name. Okay. The captain's last name is like Ooh, what the they name. So, like, team right. Hollingsworth is a captain for the team Hollingsworth. So, we just want to know the last name of the captain for that team. So, we're going to go with Team Yellow. <clears throat> but Team Yellow has uh, points on the board. And as soon as we figure out the captain for Team Yellow... Payne McBride for Team Hess won the first game, table one. Emily. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. All right, we just had one of the parents come up. Very graciously let me know that it was Team Gall. Thank you so much for that, sir. I appreciate it. And we have a tie score of one to one. Back over here to table two on the nine ball. And puts it down, Mr. Ross. And that was for Team Makani. Team Makani gets one on the board. All righty, I think we have the scores updated and correct. One to one here on table one and two to one on table two in favor of Team Hollingsworth. And again, I sincerely apologize. We wanted to get all this footage to you of all these kids instead of doing just one table with all the commentary and then having the second table as just like Mevo cameras. We wanted a better quality for you. So this is why we... Decided to do the two tables on the stream. And so the commentating is going to be a little tough going back and forth. But, again, we appreciate you all tuning in here and watching these wonderful, wonderful junior players. This is the future of our sport, folks. And I tell you what, all the money that's now coming into the game is a very, very good thing for the game of pool. Oh, did he get that? He did get it. Very nice shot. Table two. Cordo Rivera says first to seven points wins. Um, the team, the team event. I think it's. I think they're still following the first team to win five games gets the point. If I'm yes. not mistaken. Yes. So it, and again, we don't want to confuse the points with games because the points are the overall. They're trying to achieve seven points total to win the actual event. Um, it's the games for each match. So. Let's just go back real quick because I know a lot of this has been confusing trying to figure all this out. But basically, so starting out, the matches are a race to five. 
Okay. Nice. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Boy, he came off that rail really, really nice, but unfortunately it came right through there and, and scratched. So it is each match is a race to five. The first team to win five games wins that match, which then gives them one point. Kind of like this, the Moscone Cup. And then the first team to over, win overall seven points actually wins the event. You clarified that now, right? Thanks, Eddie. I appreciate the words. And again, I, I apologize. It's a lot different than what we normally do here. It's an outer point stream. It's usually one table, but again, we wanted to make sure you guys got all the action here on a on a good good look instead of just putting a couple Mevo cameras up. So we appreciate you all bearing with us with our commentary because we're going to try to go back and forth. Oh, it did not sneak out enough. He does not. He's going to have to spin around that ball. We got a safety battle going on over there. On table two. Table two. <clears throat> All right. Mr. Memberg here has hooked himself. I really don't see a good... I don't, see, I don't know if I like jumping this. It's so close to that six. But... You can't spin it around. But here's the thing. is if it, It's also out in the middle of the table, which makes this, this shot a little tougher. I watched him warm up yesterday. He played... He, he was jumping yeah, really to, good. Yeah, yeah, he can jump very well. But the problem is with this being way on the table, you got to stretch. stretch. Yep. yep, one foot on the floor. Wow, he hit it. He did. Almost made it too. Very nice, very nicely done. But unfortunately, he's going to leave it out. Going to leave an opportunity here. <clears throat> Looks like Mr. Jennings is going to finish this rack. Hopefully. He doesn't want to go too far. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. He's got the right angle. The right, ang right angle to get on the eight ball. On table one here, table two, you got Mr. Jennings. Shooting the eight to the nine. Looks like it should be pretty easy. About to possibly finish that game out over there. <clears throat> Nice shot. Conco wins on one. Jennings on two. All right. So the, both those games finished up, so that's why we had a large applause because they finished at the same time, and both teams were clapping. So that was Team Hollingsworth, right? Yep. Yeah. Team Hollingsworth, another one on the board. And again, if uh, you viewers at home, if uh, if you see something that, that I miss as far as the the scores on the tables, feel free to call me out. <laughs> All right, three to one over there on table two with Team Hollingsworth and Team Magani. I like, I like the logo they have, Brian. That uh, I got to update table one here. Who uh, that was? Um, Monica's. That was Hollingsworth. Old Scott leaning on the table over there. <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. what? Uh, all right. So we have Team Gall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Team Gall up two to one. James Werner. No, Savannah and Sophia are not here this time. They had prior commitments and uh, had to back out when it was initially announced that uh, the event was going to happen. They respectfully declined because they had other things, unfortunately, going on. Brad Silver can't see Hayden. Is he on the back table on right? Hayden, Hayden Erst uh, is on table two. He's on table two. So that would be the one on the right hand as you're looking at the screen. Scott sent you a message. 
What? Scott sent you a message. Did he? Yeah. Here. I got it. Readers. Oh. You said he likes you. me. Yeah. yeah. I'm number one. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that message was sent to you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know him yet. <laughs> A little oh, nice stretch cut. there. Very nicely done. Let's come back around for the three. By Captain Hess. 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 Sounds like a snake. She's got a lot. Uh, she's got a lot riding on her shoulders. They won it last year, and she wants to repeat. Oh, nice shot. Very nicely done. It's very important to keep that three ball right in front of the pocket. Cause sometimes they can get away from you when that three ball slides away. She played it nice and soft. A little right, I'm going to – can you uh, just take this over and just watch the scores for me? Oh, very nice bank. Look at that shot. Oh, man, you just roll Harrelson. That was a very nice shot. Um, banked that ball and came around table for that five ball. Ooh, don't came a little steep on it. Wow. Nice shot. Kid can shoot? Yeah. Holy cow. Well, I mean, obviously all these kids can shoot. I was talking to one of the parents, and they have a, one of the players on their team uh, was coming in yesterday. They were supposed to leave at 10 o'clock on Frontier Airlines, and I'm going to oh, give Oh, boy. Give a little hammer to uh, Frontier, and apparently they had to onboard the plane, and it would have been twelve hundred dollars for him to come out here, and he couldn't make it because of Frontier canceling the flight. Are you serious? Yeah, that's why. If you look at some of these kids, they're going to have an alternate color shirt, like the white ones. Those are alternate players that came in last Ooh. minute to fill the teams out, and there's one team here that has five players, so. There's one short, and I believe it's the green team. Oh, is that because the person missed the? Yeah, that's. Oh, geez, that's unfortunate. So if you see the the gentleman with the white um, shoulders, he's one of the alternate players, I believe. Oh. Two. They have two two on their team, which is sad for the kids because uh, they work hard to get here, and you wait for that moment. And then it's taken away, and there's nothing you can do about it. So whoever that young man or young lady was, um, that's unfortunate. Hopefully next year, and don't fly Frontier. I never do. <laughs> <laughs> so to kind of give you guys a little heads up on what's going on with this event, <clears throat> nice out. Tracy Lerma and Eddie Altman have just done a wonderful job at helping promote these juniors and the story on how this came about is something that i'm sure all right team oh has. did you see that shot on table two no i didn't kick shot in the corner and he made it wow shoot got to the shot the seven in the corner kind of kind of got a bad leave but you got to take what you get so team hess captain hess ties it up Two to two. She ran the table. No, she didn't. No, no, she missed that one in the the six in the side. Okay. And then unfortunately, the kid uh, came in. He had a nice shot at it, but he tried to draw it back and just rattled it and came back down and left a pretty straight in shot for Miss Hess there to finish out that rack. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, did he scratch? Well, that's too bad. After that kick shot was no justice. I'll be right back. All right. Table one, Mr. Schultz broke. Made one. Eight balls down. Oh.
Table two. Looks like he's frozen to the nine ball. What's he going to push through? Push through, yep. Any scratch. Oh, it was a nice shot. Just followed through and rolled in for the loss. Oh, no, it's not a loss. That's how much I know about pool, you guys. I got to get into this. that one back. So teams, team Hollingsworth got another one on the board, just four to one. Team Gall shooting at the three ball. All right, sorry. Our camera was shaking. It looked like we were having an earthquake because... Uh, Scott's leaning? Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't Scott. It was a... Uh, the other guy. That's all good, though. All right, so I got to get Team Hollingsworth another point on the board here. It's going to make it 4-1, to one, so they are on the hill to get a point. Again, I appreciate everybody for tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming here at the 2024 Monica Webb's Battle of the Junior Championships Moscone Cup style event here for these wonderful juniors. It's awesome to watch these kids play. Man, there's some incredible players here today. There sure is. Mr. Schultz here, he was last year. This kid, this kid was a riot. He was so funny. Is he? Oh, God, he was so funny. But I tell you what, in the last year, that kid has, oh, well, that kid has sprouted up. Last year, he was, he was really, really short, but he was just the funniest little kid. Just, he cracked me up last year quite a few times. Good. All these kids. We should get some of them up here later on to talk about themselves. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Once this team format is over. Yep. Yeah, we're going to get some of these kids. I already talked to a couple of them. Jose I said, you're going to get your butt up in the booth. He's like, yeah, if you want me up there. I said, absolutely. Nice kid. Very humble. Yeah. Talking to him yesterday. I don't want to play him, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Team Makani over here. Got the captain playing. Very nicely done. It's a perfect shape to just make this eight ball and come straight back across table. Oh, nice shot. Don't come too far. He's perfect. Should get a point. There it is. Makani, you Gets them to two. Team Hollingsworth is still on the hill. Four to two. Oh. Oh, oh and look, he's going to go with this. Oh, boy. Got away with it. <laughs> Jackson Schultz comes up there. He's like, puts his arms out like, come on, man. <laughs> he's say, watch this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> watch what I can do here. <clears throat> and Mr. Scott... Racking it up on table number two. Oh, nice shot. Wow. Very nicely done. Mm -hmm. 
You just got to be careful coming across the table with that nine. Yeah. Oh, made wow. Right there. All right, Brian, my uh, skills are down. How do you get back from here, draw? Table one. I can't tell. I can't. Is he, is he pretty straight? Is he straight? I think he's. No, he's got a little he's bit. He's got of a little. Angle. Yeah, he's going to have to put a good stroke on this. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I don't know if we had the overhead view, you can really see, but if he's got a little outside angle. Draw it back up and play that seven yeah, back in the left corner. Yeah, he's going to have to put a good straight. Just got to put a good stroke on this and just draw it straight back. I can't tell the angle. Oh, he followed through. Yeah, but see, that's the problem is that I don't. I didn't think he had enough angle to follow that. Oh, he got away with this, so. He got away with it because he hooked. I'm him. looking straight down and uh, you can't see it, can he? I, he can only see a sliver of that six ball. He can see a little bit of it, but not enough to really do anything with it. The thing about it is he. I'm really looking straight down it, and he has enough to actually cut it, but he has to hit that ball so hard because cut it cut, in the corner. No, in the side. He oh, can actually, okay. but I'm saying it. That's not a shot you want to take, though, because no. you have to hit it so hard because you're cutting so much of the ball that yeah. you're not getting much velocity on it. And you gotta Where's go, the cue ball going to end up? Yeah, it's, it's going to go up and down table so many times that chances of it scratching are quite high. And this is the team captain of Team Gall. And he is deciding to go airborne. We are taking flight, folks. United Flight 101 is ready for takeoff. On the runway. He's got to be careful scratching. If he's trying for the six ball, he could come. Yeah. He got a good hit, but unfortunately, did he get away? Oh, I'll tell you what, shot. that is a tough. He left that. <laughs> That ended up in a great spot because if you try to take this Either one up way. in the corner, you're scratching in the side, and you can't cut this one, back cut it into the side. Three-railer. Yeah. He could actually... Uh, if. Or bank it in the corner. Well, he then what in are you going to get on the seven? Nothing. Yeah, he's going to have to draw back. Draw back to get on the seven. And oh, that's yeah, he's like going to draw he's way back. Watch this one. He's putting this a little. Yeah, you put a lot of sting on that one. Oh, is he going to get away with this again? Nope. nope. Well, he, the one thing is he got away with putting him on the rail. But all, all uh, Mr. Gall here has to do is. Side pocket. Yep, side pocket. Follow it down and come back. Come back down table. Yes, sir. And that's what he's looking at, where that cue ball is going to go after. Taking it in the side pocket. The thing about it is he could take it all the way down, but he's against the rail and he can't get much spin on that to draw it back. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? What's happening over here on table two? Oh, nice try. All right. All right, here's Jose Vincente Jr. I was watching him yesterday. This kid is he, 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 630 Fargo rating. Is he really? Yeah. He has been in this room. Ever since he's got ever here. Ever since he got here. I mean, he, he was here before we even got here. Then he was, well, obviously, we were, we were quite tired last night. <laughs> yes. <so. laughs> 16 hours straight. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Well, we drove all the way. We left, what, Wednesday night? Wednesday night, drove straight through. Got uh, here about 9.30 yesterday yep, morning. and then set up, so. Stayed here till what, 7 o'clock last night? And then you came back. I came back because I wanted to get things set up. Oh, yeah, he's fine. He just doesn't want to get straight. Oh, I like that. Yeah, he didn't want to be on the rail. It makes it a little tougher. He, he's fine here. He's, yeah. He's perfectly fine. See, he's looking at in the side. I would not take it in the side. I played in the corner, wouldn't you? Let yeah, the ball just, roll? Yeah, just hit, hit, it with, hit it with a little pace. You have enough... He's going to come back out for in the side. I think he had enough room to actually 
Or you could even come off the rail, but you have enough room where you could uh, just get that ball up table and take it in the corner. These side pockets, I'm telling you, are tough. You'd rather take it in the... But, but again, he felt more comfortable with... Hey, oh, and, nice shot. And he drew Way to it. finish. All right, team All right, Hess. Hosey's on seven ball. Team Hess is up three to two on table number one. I just like this kid. He plays a good game. Yeah, he does. It's smart. You'll see him someday. Soon. Very soon. There it is. All right, that gives... McConney. McConney. Yep. Three games... So it is now four to three. It's getting close, folks. Getting close. All right, I'm going to go see if I can find Karen and get some score sheets printed out for uh, for this the next matches here. So I will. Right. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, you got it updated. Um, let's see. 17 and under for the age, right? Up. Let's go. Elv16 or S6 got the stream up. While I work, let's go, Jazz and Nico. Thanks for joining us. Great out, Jazz. There you go, Jazz. Let's go, Jose. John Macon. Let's go, Jake. Teresa Radka. Thank you all for tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming. We certainly appreciate it. Appreciate it. As well as do these juniors. Um, if you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button for us as well. Whoever is, wherever you're watching it, whether it's YouTube or Facebook, if you would, please smash up that like button for us. We would certainly appreciate that. The more likes we get on our stream, the more we get recommended for individuals to watch us. So if you would, please do us a favor and smash up that like button. And I will be right back as I'm going to I'll try, to, try to keep to this thing going the best I can. You got it, Joe. Yeah. You're a pro already, man. Yeah, thanks, Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Keep, keep, keep I'm going to keep plugging keep, her. <laughs> uh, yeah. keep, uh, keep, these, uh, keep our folks entertained. I right? will try. You? I'll try. All right. Mr. Burns is shooting at the one here. He's going to kick shot. Let's see what he's going to hit. No. Oh. And a miss. Ball in hand. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hammond tree. We'll get to know these kids by the end of the weekend. At least I will. I've, uh, this is the first time for me here, so you guys just gotta just kind of bear with me because I don't know a lot about how everything works, but I'll learn. Brian's a good teacher. Mr. Ernst is on the three ball. little short on that for the four. Ooh. Oh, nice safety. Back to table one. Mr. Burns shooting the one. Oh. 
overcut a little bit. back to the table you sh just knock the one down shooting the two Nice shot. Oh, no justice. Mr. Ernst back to the table.
Oh. A little short. Ross is going to have to back cut that, I believe. Or what is he going to do here? Sorry, I got pulled to the side there on my way getting these score sheets. Mr. Ross just made a bank shot on the six ball, and it just was nice. Are the captains shooting too? Yes, sir, they are shooting as well. Um, Ross is the captain? No, no, there, it was on a Jordan and asked if oh, the captains okay. are shooting, and yes, they, they do shoot in this, obviously. Um, what's the score over? Is it tied up now? They didn't score yet. Oh, they didn't? Oh, that's no, still, still the same game. Okay. Both of these are still the same. Oh, perfect. I didn't miss a score. Then. Oh, they're That's awesome. Pretty much, they were all pretty much on the same balls, too. Oh, are they? Really? Yeah. <laughs> they were both shooting the six ball. Ross made a really nice bank shot to get to the seven. Oh, that kid. Wow. wow. Look at that. He made two really nice shots. He came in late. I didn't get to see him warm up. So Ross just has to be very careful with this shot right here, though. He needs to spin it a little bit to get down for the nine, because if he doesn't spin it, looking at the angle, that could be a pretty... That could, that could come real close to the side pocket, so he's just got to be very careful what he does here. He's going to have to spin this a little bit, I think. And again, we apologize... Obviously, looking at the angle from different and also looking at the screen here, the angles can be a little off, and especially since we're doing both tables, <laughs> it makes it even tougher. Yeah. Yeah, if he hits it good, he should get a really nice leave on the nine. Needs a little oh, that was a nice cut. That. Very nicely done for Team Gall, which will tie the score up over there at 3-3. Three to three. So what we're going to have to do is, once we get some I want to watch this shot from Mr. Ross here. Oh, what happened there? Sorry. He's jacked up a little three bit. Three to three? Yeah, because he knows he needs, to get, he needs to put a little spin on this. But he doesn't want to hit it too hard, though, because he's going to come back over it? to the... No. Oh. See, that, that's the spin that he needed to get down there, but unfortunately jacked up on it and uh, caused that little bit of... All right, I'm a novice at this one. How do you get back around? Or do you roll it up? No, you just you actually, he's got a slight angle. So put top on this, and it'll come straight back across. It'll come straight back across the table. A little okay. bit of right on it. A little bit of right. Oh. Too hard. Yeah, but he over he overcut that ball. That's why. One to fall on the break over here on table one. So McBride will be at the table with a look at the one, but a not a great opportunity to make the one. So McBride, I don't think, was part of this team last year, if I'm not mistaken. No? No, I think he's a new addition to the team. 
Where did they all have to qualify? So there were a couple of qualifying tournaments throughout, and I will be the first to tell everybody here live. I didn't bring that up because of no, that. No, 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 I know that. I know that. But I want to... I want to... Um, uh, this isn't just where you walk in and say, hey, I got six guys I want to be <laughs> on a team. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Um, so Stefan Fleming says just hitting below and no spin is more consistent. I, correct. Correct. I agree with you 100%. So the right spin you can also accomplish with just hitting a little bit of draw as well because it will slide down table once contacting the uh, object ball. Joe Bassel, Bassetti, thanks for the kind words for my boy, jo- Jose Vincent. Vicente, he looks really comfortable. I tell you what, he looks absolutely comfortable. He and he is a very, very well in tuned player. Yeah, sir. He is. He's a class act. I yes, just, he is. Just talking to the kid, he's just one of those kids you want to get to know. And very, very humble. Humble. Oh my God, I and can't that, believe that. You know, if you look at people like, I know we talked about this, like. Uh, Oh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. I, a blank. I have so much on my brain. Um, uh, who were we? Where were we talking about? Um, Shane's one of them. Well, Shane is one of them. Yes, he's he's very quiet, but he's also a very down to earth. But uh, the the guy. Um, oh. All right. Well, that is going to give Team Hollingsworth their first point at. They end up winning that match five to three. So Team Hollingsworth has one point on the board towards their overall score. Hey, what I'm gonna do is I've got this sheet right here. Yep. We'll just mark points so that way we know as they're going along. Okay. How many points they have? It's gonna get a little more confusing once the individuals start. Um. But I'm hoping that we can get, uh, now that I print out score sheets, that we can get copies of those score sheets. So um, I'm going to go ask Eddie if we can wait till this match is over. And then also, well, actually, they are going to have to wait. But All right, so we are going to. Yeah, I think they're going to have to wait anyway because I don't I don't know if they're playing the same team. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm going to go I'm going to go ask real quick. Uh, uh, Mr. McBride played a safety down there. Table 1, Mr. White's up. And Brian's over talking to Scott. I think they were going to try to start right away, but we're going to have to wait in between matches for a couple minutes. Because of the split format, the cameras, we got to wait to get two, four other teams up here. So... Good hit. Okay, D'Angelo Spain Jaws is the player that couldn't make it for the green team. His flight was canceled. Uh, D'Angelo, we apologize. Uh, wish we could have done something for you to get you here. Yeah, he... Uh, okay. Thanks again, Frontier. Yeah, right. We're going to give them a bunch of shout-outs <laughs> for you, Jaws. 
Yeah, Michelle Pirelli in the house. Thanks for tuning in. Glad uh, everything sounds good. Appreciate you. Uh, so uh, anyway, Michelle went and picked up a cue that I had delivered from Jacoby. I am going to have three cues that I'm going to be raffling off, and I apologize. I don't want to interfere with the kids playing, and because we're doing two tables, um, it's going to be a little rough. And I don't want to put anything in there that's going to confuse everybody and kind of take away from the juniors. So I'm not going to put any Q raffle information out there today or tomorrow just because I want this. This is about the juniors. Okay. Yeah. And I don't want to interfere with any of that. So I am not going to put any of that up there. I'm just going to do that all on my own later on to raffle off cues um, for this event. Uh, so if you are interested in, I've got a Jacoby, a beautiful Jacoby cue with a keelwood shaft. I also have a Viking cue that I'll be raffling off, as well as a pea shower cue that I'll be raffling off. Speaking of, i got to get our sponsors' images up there. So I, again, this has been very confusing. We're trying to make sure i got both tables here. Um, just trying to get everything running. It is yeah, and it I'm is. not much help either. Hey, hey, you know, <laughs> Joe, you've been a ton of help, man. I, I, I can't thank you enough. So that's. I just wish I knew more about this. Yeah, but you know what? It's hey, if you wanna if you wanna get more involved with this, bro- brother, I'd love to have you, and oh, I can yeah. teach you a whole lot of stuff, and uh, it it'll be fun. So, a lot of good things coming up here for Outer Point Streamings. Make sure you are a subscriber. Keep an eye out for things. But I, if you're interested in possibly. Uh, getting in the raffle for the queue please look me up on facebook brian hollenbeck <clears throat> and um, friend request me um, i will be putting the raffles out on the battle of the junior page as well as uh, a couple other uh, wisconsin pool tournament society page I'll be putting it on a quite a few pages for the raffle but if you're interested in any uh, getting in any of those raffles um, just look out if you if look out on the junior the battle of the juniors page. Uh, I'll definitely be putting them out there. So again, thank you all for your your support. Pride's on the three. Looks like he's gonna have to spin that a little bit to get it around. Nice S- shot, Steve. St- hey, Steven. Oh wow, that was right. a nice shot. I appreciate you <laughs> telling me because actually a, a friend of mine who owns the bowling alley where I manage a pool hall. His name is spelled the exact same way, and I started calling him Steven. He's like, it's Stefan. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh, a little shaky there. Yeah, was that an earthquake? Yeah, it was. <laughs> so we are S- Stephen Fleming in the house, not Stefan Fleming in the house. I appreciate it. Frankie Spain. Yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate. That's, uh, that's tough, man. It's, uh, I wish he could have... Uh, could have gotten here because I know he thoroughly and D'Angelo and thir- D'Angelo thoroughly enjoyed last year, and uh, it's unfortunate he couldn't get here this year. Alrighty. Next match. All right, Mr. McBride's down on the five. Looks like a little roll up on the six. Nice shot. Seven and six, seven and nine should be out. Thanks, Michelle. Keeping Brian safe just for you.
Okay, I just had to quick verify with uh, Team Hollingsworth because they only had scheduled out so far, and they said that they wanted to wait. Oh, okay. So we'll get an update from them. So after this match is done here, <coughs> which is... Should we... Which team, ride's on the nine? Team Hess here is on the nine, and that'll give them four to three, so they will be on the hill. I'm not going to commentate or curse him. Nice shot. But no doubt. He gets it done. And that's going to give Team Hess four to three. So they are on the hill. And what we're going to do is we are waiting for this match to get done. We are going to stop the stream, and then we're going to restart it again. And the reason I want to, we could let this run and let it go. But the problem with that is if, if individuals want to go back to, hey, I want to see my match between this person. Oh, they can go back? Yeah, I, I want to have them separated out so we can, you know, th so this is a team match. We'll yep. stop this one. Then we'll relabel the next one as, indiv you know, now it's the singles matches that start between. So it's going to be a singles, scotch, singles, scotch, singles, scotch, all the way until one team gets five points. Okay. So I want to have that totally separate from the team match. You know what I mean? So then that way they can go back and watch the, the different events instead of sure. six hours of straight video and they have to look through and try to find you know, what they're... Yeah, just different groups, right? Right, right. So we appreciate everybody tuning in here. And uh, after this match is done, we're going to stop the stream and start it all back up again. So please join us again when we get it going. Uh, Donna Earth, he was on what they have labeled this table to. Yes, sir. Brad, you are correct. Michelle says, that's a full-time job. Do I need to pay you? For well, Brian? She, no, well, she's, no, she's talking she, to you. She's yeah, asking if she needs to pay you. To keep track of you. <laughs> oh, to keep track of yeah. you. Take, make oh. sure you're okay, you know. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> hey, we got the shine Eddie Altman in the house here. What's up, Eddie? Yeah, I'm back again. Back again. You're, you're glutton for punishment, aren't you? Absolutely. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Hold on. Here. Get up. Get up on the mic. Then. All right. I just want to thank everybody for coming out, participating, supporting, especially out of points for driving all the way from Wisconsin to help us out with this event two years in a row. So anything anybody could do to help support these juniors, please get in contact with the Junior Billiard Scholarship Fund or Out of Point Streaming or Inside Pool Magazine. Thank you again. All righty. So Jeremy says, hey, Brian, can you list the players for each team playing? Yes, I'm going to get a – as soon as I get the list of all the players, I actually have a – I actually have a separate screen that I am going to put up for you guys a little bit later on, and that'll be uh, once we start the next event. So I apologize. I don't have a list name, or I don't have the list of all the players right now. I was hoping to get that beforehand, but uh, I didn't. So <clears throat> I will get that for you guys, and I will have that up here as soon as I possibly can. So I appreciate it. And again, I apologize for. Being a little bit behind on a couple of things here, but oh, we almost made it. Um, <clears throat> we had the short notice change what we were going to do. We were only going to do one table, and it would have been a little bit easier. But unfortunately, at the last minute, the other stream that was going to do the other table had to back out for reasons that... Um, I, I don't know about, but uh, I guess they're opening up another place about 20 minutes away, and they had some issues that came up. So they had to back up, which is not a big deal. So I had to last minute figure out a way to make sure I got both tables on the stream. And so that just causes a little more difficulty in trying to get information correctly out to everybody. But again, appreciate you. Hanging out with us here and uh, understanding the dilemmas I have. But I love those dilemmas because watching these juniors, juniors play is absolutely phenomenal. 
So he just asked the ref, is this all ball fouls or is it just cue ball fouls only? And so it's just cue ball fouls only. So his shirt, if it does touch the eight, is not going to be a foul. Lee, I appreciate the uh, appreciate the words there. And uh, what stream do you run in uh, New Jersey? Throw it out there. Have people subscribe to it, man. Streaming is good for pool, and I appreciate what you do as well in promoting the game. So, hey, give a shout out to you. put it up there. What stream do you run there in Jersey? Let's give you a shout out, man. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the other table, table two, actually start their singles. Um, but then we're going to... All right, that is going to tie up the score here and make it 4-4. Four to four. So, okay, so what we're going to do here is we just had a talk with uh, Eddie and Tracy, and their concern was that they didn't want to have these juniors uh, sitting around and kind of losing their focus on, on the game. So what we're going to do is I am we are going to continue to keep the stream going. We're not going to shut it off. And we're going to get the other table actually started with their singles matches. But what I need to do is I need to change the scoreboard because we're going to give we're going to give Team Hollingsworth. All right, so Team Hollingsworth has one point towards their overall score, and we are going to zero out that. 
So they are going to start with their singles matches. And the first singles match is going to be Carson Jennings. versus Jose Yeah, I know it's but how does it, is it VI? Yeah. Against Jose Vicente, oh, sorry, I had your, uh, I had your, yeah, I know. Mic. Well, well, unmute it. You, hey, you're a pro at this, so get your yeah. butt on it. <laughs> uh, no, I can DJ. I can't do this stuff yet. <laughs> well, if you can DJ, so you can do that then. All yeah, right. you know about the electronics. <laughs> All right, so Carson Jennings is taking on Jose Vicente, and it is currently, again, very quickly, I just want to point out and give you. A rundown on the scoreboard because now that the scoreboards are going to be a little different from table one to table two now. So table one is still on their team event. Last Hill game Hill. Here. It's Hill Hill. So the last game is taking place here. But on table two, we are starting out with the individual events, which will be a singles event, scotch event, singles, scotch, singles, scotch, all the way through until one team wins five games which will give them a point but as of right now team hollingsworth has one point all right so i'm actually going to just so we keep this Hollingsworth has to have such a long name. It's like killing me here because I can't get it in. Uh, we got it in there. All right, we're good. All right, so. And this is going to be Jose is on team. Ooh. Makani. Oh, Jose's up on. Who? Jose is up on table two. All right. So I wanted to make sure you know which individuals are on what team. So we're going to keep it uh, put in parentheses there, which team they are on as far as the team captain. So that way you know what team has the overall points. Team Hollingsworth has overall one point so far in this event, and it is as far as the points are concerned, it is a race to seven. So in talking with Eddie, we are going to run straight through until four o'clock. Once four o'clock hits, they're going to take an hour break. So we are definitely going to be stopping the stream right around four o'clock. But until then, we are going full steam. I'm going to leave this up and running and going. Members on the five. So we had Lee Blanchard say that uh, he, New Jersey Billiard Streams, and he says thank you. No problem, Lee. So anybody out there that's interested in watching some stream the pool, take a look at New, New Jersey Billiard Streams out of New Jersey. On his, are you on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch? I'm, I'm assuming YouTube for sure. Uh, but uh, look him up. Hit that subscribe button for him. Join his channel. Help support uh, pool streamers. We certainly appreciate everything. And Don, I'm in Western New York, and I appreciate you for the streaming. In it. Hey, Don, thank you for the words. We are absolutely pleased to be here streaming this. Yes, I am. <laughs> Joe, I tell you what, it was uh, just coming down here and talking. You know, I, I thought Joe was just like, yeah, you know, I'll I'll do this. I'll do this. It'll it'll be fun. Just. Get but I tell you what, in talking with Joe, it's more than that. He, him and I are so much alike, and, and, I, and I love him for it. Not only does he like to help people out, he truly has a passion for the game. Oh, Not wow. very good at it. 
It doesn't matter if you're good or not. I'm I just pas- like to the play. passion for the game is yeah. the most important thing. And the thing about it is everybody's not going to be great at this game. As long as you love the game, you can help grow the game. And that's what we're all about is helping grow the game. So yeah, we appreciate everybody. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the, everything Pool has to offer. And the best thing for me is just the mindset. It gets you away from everything. and just It can be good therapy. You know yeah, what? it is. <laughs> it is. And I need a lot of that. <laughs> we all need a lot of that, man. Wow. Oh. oh, God, I thought he made that shot. That was a nice shot. Nice attempt, anyways. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought he made that. All right. Team Hollingsworth. 1-0 to zero over there against Jose. Put that up there. I figured I should come along and start out uh, learning something about the game, especially from the kids. <laughs> I ain't learning anything from the adults. <laughs> the only thing I learned from them is swear words and right? how to slam your stick. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, throw a temper tantrum. You know, every hey, it's everybody else. I'll never fault. tell <laughs> Robbie that he's got throwing a ten- temper tantrum. <laughs> no, don't don't ever do that. <laughs> oh, too funny. I had a, lo- a buddy that I shoot with on Thursday mornings, and uh, his name is Lucky. He had a, and if you guys are from the Valley, you know Lucky. And I'll, I'll probably hear about this, but I don't care. <laughs> Lucky, over the years, has developed a little bit of, a, I guess, anger issues. And I always kidded him about getting his stick. He's going to leave it to me because he's got it engraved. It's a 40-year-old McDermott. Oh, really? Yeah. So about two, three months ago, he was playing um, on a Thursday morning, and he missed a shot and slammed the stick, and it splintered. What what happened over there? Did you see? No, I did not. But Jennings won the first game. Yeah, he won the first game, but then Jose broke the second. So we apologize, folks. Um, I was actually looking at the table number one over here, and I think that was a short rack on table number two. If anybody can uh, fill us in. All right, so. No, Jose, I'm pretty sure Jose broke over there. Oh, he had nine. Okay, golden break. It was a golden break. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. That That's why That's why I missed it. I was watching table one over here, so it was a golden I was, break. So. I was talking. So. <laughs> well, anyways, getting back to my stick story. Yeah. So Lucky got mad, and he slammed the stick and shattered the butt into splinters. Ew. And You don't want that cue anymore, do you? Well, <laughs> I got to give a shout-out to MH up at... Oh. Mad Apple. Did he uh, fix it? Oh my God, he put that thing back together, and I don't know how he did it, but it, you can barely tell it. Wow, that's cool. So he's back playing with it. <laughs> Dustin, Eddie, Caitlin, and Elvis Six. Thank you very much. Appreciate uh, appreciate you helping us out there. <laughs> Again, we apologize if we're if we miss something. We certainly apologize for it. We're not intending to, and. Uh, but we appreciate the help. All of you are hired, so come on out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Safe on the eight. Actually, it was a very, you know. That's a good play. It's a very good play, and, and so many people don't realize that that shot is just get the, there's nothing really to hide behind, so you know, make them make make bank beat it. You. Yeah, make them make a shot. It is what it is. Oh, nice try. But again, this is another two-way shot. And oh, yeah. Wow. Mr. Member hit that almost absolutely perfect. I think he can see an edge of the eight. Can Just he? an edge, but not well. From here, yeah, it looks like it, but I don't think he could hit it. He's going to have to kick. If he can hit the edge of well, yeah, he's kind of looking no, like, I don't oops, think so. I can't. Wow, that's, yeah, that's unfortunate. 
Because if he did have an edge of the eight, he could just come off the edge of the eight and bring that cue ball back up here to the other end of the table. All right, back on table two, Jose's up. We had a miss, ball in hand. More Jersey folks in the house. We appreciate you tuning in. Hell yeah, Jose with the golden break, making Jersey proud. I tell you, this kid has got to be making Jersey proud because he, he's a very, very good shot. Very good nice shot. Nice leave. No, and I, you know, I want to say something too. We're not biased to one player. We just oh uh, no 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 no. It's just that we just got to him. meet the kid. We got to see him, watch him for you know right twelve hours of pool and and he's been here every day. So we've talked to him a little bit. And, and again, we're not we'll get to know any, the other ones. Oh yeah, we're not rooting for any team in particular at all. This we just love we're, to watch his junior. But when we see somebody here every single like he was here both days, it yeah. just just. Playing his heart out, just practicing and pushing. Oh, uh -oh bad! No. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 unfortunate. All right. Well, that is going to give Team Gall. I'm not going to nope. say anything, but if he puts this nine ball down, that is going to give. That is. All right. That is going to give them their first team point. point. They won the match five to four. Hill Hill. Jose is on eight. They are moving on to the nice second leave. match. Sorry, I don't mean to overstep you there. Nope. Coming back for the nine. All right, I'm going to go get their score sheets that they had filled out. All right, I'll keep and doing this one. Keep them entertained there, Joe. And Jose is out for a point. No, not a point. A game. A game. Remember, make a sure game. don't don't confuse. I know, them. I'm confused already. <laughs> well, you know, we I didn't all. have enough coffee this morning, buddy. What? Come on, man. I'm usually a pot, <laughs> and not the green uh, stuff. I was gonna say, a <laughs> hey, hey, this is a kids show here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a whole pot of coffee. He's talking about, folks. Yes. <laughs> all right, so that's gonna give Jose a two to one lead games wise, and it is a race to five games wise. Is that even? A, is that even a? Should I even say that games? Games. Wise? Games wise. Games wise. Games wise. Say that ten times real quick. Games wise. Games wise. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. All right. I'll be. I'll be back. Keep them entertained there. All right. Jose's back up for the break. He's up two to one. I watched him break yesterday. Man, this kid has a strong break. Not a very... No justice on the break there. Gonna have to manipulate his way around here. See a safety coming. Well, looks like he might. Might have got him. Just play it safe here. Yep. Uh, we'll see if Jose can pull something out. For a jump shot here. Give him a little bit of 
room there. Good hit. One down, shooting the two. Should get a decent leave on the three. Oh. Missed that one. Shooting the two. And a miss. Not a bad one, though. Ah, I was going to look at combination for the nine. shot nice shot tie the match up Jennings is back to break. Scoreboard's not updated yet, but it should be two to two. We will do that in a second. That's Brian's job. All right, so Jennings won the last one, so he's up. Yep, he oh, broke. Tied, tie score. Broken, fouled. And now uh, Jose's back to the table. He, uh, when he broke, he hit the, ba the cue ball off the table. All righty. I'm going to do a little maintenance here. i got to get our uh, wonderful sponsors up on our stream here. Appreciate everybody. Um, okay, so I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I got a uh, Mr. Joe here. I got to have him uh, 
Just make sure he keeps watching some of the uh, comments while I'm... It, it's, it's, it's a lot to deal with, but if you watch some of the comments, someone asks where is this taking place, and some of our viewers, thank you very much for answering him and uh, letting him know where this is being held. It's at Villa Rica, Georgia. Monica Webb's pool hall called Sticks Billiards. Beautiful place here, beautiful establishment. If you're ever in the Villa Rica or Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia area, I think it's about, what, 30 miles away from Atlanta, west of Atlanta? You're asking me? Oh, yeah, I, mean, all right. I don't know how to get back right. to the hotel. Forget the, <laughs> forget I asked you that, Joe. That's what they get GPS <laughs> for, man. All right, look it up on your phone. <laughs> if you're ever in a, if you're ever in a, a Georgia anywhere, just look it up. Oh, look at this. Oh, but oh, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, he got snookered behind, uh, behind that ball, so... All right, so they are going to get going here. Uh, Miss Hess is outside. She went outside for a break and has not returned yet, so they're just going to get this going. And first up we have on the other on table one here is Jay versus Landon. Jay Gall versus Landon Memberg. Team Gall. Versus right. Team Hess. Table one. So let me get that updated. And Mr. Four. Jennings is going to attempt a jump shot on uh, table two at the four. I'll tell you what, this is, uh, he's two, doing two tables. This is tough. <laughs> you know, we're going we're gonna to get through it, though. Yeah, I'm not doing anything that's still <laughs> tough. <laughs> he's sitting over his arms crossed, hanging out on the table. And hey, can you give me some more water? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm up. <laughs> All right, so we have. Oh, Jay. foul. Goal for Hess. Oh, wait. Did I get there? No, I'm sorry. Let me, that's Memberg. You Duh. think combination? Or is he just going to play it straight? Um, good question. Uh, he's playing it straight away. <laughs> I think that's a smart play. Now me, I'd I'd go for the combination because I don't know pool enough yet. <laughs> I think I can you make are them just all. Fine, make them all. So we got the captain playing against Landon Memberg here. Oh, nice shot! He came perfect. Look at this. Wow, that was a nice weave. All right, so I'm going to leave it as such. Oh, Jesus. Jose, oh. back up. One. He won that one. He won that one, so yep. he's up three to two. And Jose he breaks. Is over Carson. Mr. Gall is attempting a jump shot. Did he not? He Obviously, I know you said he fouled. Did he get over it or not? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice shot, but he kind of got stuck behind the three there. Yes, Elvis Six, you are correct to Eddie Eddie Brock. It's it's a team overall team points. They're racing to seven. Um, but the, each match is a race to five to get a single point. So. I know it's a little confusing for folks that don't have never watched the Moscone Cup. Um, and actually, it, it's almost like the Ryder Cup in golf, too, if you want to. Yeah. So 18 holes or, you know, it's a match playing 18 holes. They try to win that match to gain a point. So they're trying to win each match to gain a point towards their overall score. Oh, Jose, nice hit. Jose Bur Oh, oh two-way. Look at this. Wow. Oh, wow. my God. That was a nice shot. He got four ten. I don't think I was saying I don't think he was trying that, but hey. If it was me, it. I'd say, yeah, I was trying that. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with that. Yeah. He did it. <laughs> Jennings back up on two. And that would be a foul. Man, I can't tell you guys how much uh, I appreciate Brian and just getting me down here. This is 
Isn't this cool? Absolutely phenomenal. I, I'm i just in awe from the talent that's coming up. These kids, you know, we're from a different part of the country. Or the states, I guess. Yeah, states. Mm-hmm. And you see, a, I think I see a little different style. You know, oh, you get absolutely. to Wisconsin, I think Wisconsin <clears throat> people play a little bit aggressive. I don't know, that's just my thought. And I see these guys... I'm not categorizing everybody. I just, from playing in bars all the time, and I start to get to be around people that know how to play, and I see a whole different... This is like a chess match. Yes, sir. And I like sitting here watching these kids. They're all focused on the game. That's cool. Uh Uh-oh. You know, as as we... we kind of said last year, what what I think is also cool about this is watching the camaraderie between these kids. And yeah. that they have no fear no. right now. No fear. And to watch them kind of bond together. Oh, you oh that to, was a nice yeah, try. Yeah, tried to get the nine in. Uh, watch them bond together and just the, the captains in – and how they present themselves to their teammates well, is just one of the coolest things, you know. Yeah, Jay did deserve that. That was a nice jump shot. Going back to his other shot to get him back to the table. Oh, was he scratched? Foul. He had a tough shot there. That built, was right on the rail by the side pocket. And no way to run it down. Uh, he's going to go for that again. All right, folks, I apologize ahead of time here. I am... Uh I'm working on getting logos up here because I didn't get a chance Mr. to do that. Mr. Jennings before. is going to attempt this nine ball watch. Yep. Nice Karam shot. We Tied def- up. We definitely want to shout out to our sponsors. Because without them, oops. Jennings won that one, Brian. Jennings won that one? Yep. So we should be tied. All right, we'll get to that as soon as I can here. All right, so it's three to three. Yep, Mr. Gall is attempting the eight ball. Nice shot. going to do this for right now. <clears throat> I'm going to give you this view while I am. That way I don't interrupt anything on the on the stream here for you while I'm adding our logos. Oh, you got out. Mr. Gall. Table one won that one. Alrighty. shooting the two ball here. What do you think? Right over the pocket. Oh, that's a tough one. If you try to cut that in, you're scratching. If you try to take it down in the corner, you're scratching. I think he's looking at uh, he's looking at playing a safe? Playing a safe, yeah. He's going to try to get the cue ball behind the nine ball. Maybe contact the outer point. And then just put the tube, try to get the two behind the nine. Uh, 
that's a tough one. I, it's so hard to tell the angle. On oh, this, God, uh, he hit Just it, like that. Hit it good. Yeah, but unfortunately, he hit it a little too hard yeah. and brought it back around. That was what a great effort, though. <clears throat> I like his thought process. If he had hit that just a little lighter, he would have ended up really good. Oh, nice safety. It's all about strategy. Yes, sir, it is. Jose left him tough there. One, two, two railer. Come around. All right, after this break is finished up, all the balls moving. Made a ball on the break and has a shot on the one. Oh, that was close. Uh, I apologize. I didn't mean to switch that in between when that ball was traveling around. But now that I have our cue, or our sponsors up there, I didn't want to have it bothered, have you guys bothered while I was doing that. So, All right, Landon has a great opportunity to actually run this table out. Jose is up on one, or two, I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. That's unfortunate. Hooked himself. Ugh. Got a good hit. Not to bang the drum anymore, but Jose's got a really nice stroke. Yeah, he's got that smooth, very yeah. smooth stroke. Oh, nice shot. Mr. Gall, nice shot. No justice. As I learn and play this game, you know, carrying... Wait, wait, hold on. You can learn? Get out of here. Huh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I was in the Marine Corps, you know. <laughs> Even though they eat crayons, they still can learn. <laughs> you guys got to get there somehow. Doesn't matter by how or wait who. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Air Force is the one that carried you guys over yeah. there. What are you talking about if you got to get there? <laughs> Jose won another one. All righty. And I think he breaks this one. Nice shot on the three for Mr. Memberg. Shoot the five, draw back. Yeah. Okay, so I got to get Jose's score updated here. And appreciate your patience, everybody. We are traveling at a different speed today with our last minute change of doing both tables. So, but we will get there for you guys as long as, oh, almost another oh. golden break. <clears throat> as long as we get there and we can supply you guys with all this footage, these wonderful junior players, that's what our goal is. So we appreciate all your support and your patience. I'm sorry, you said uh, did Landon or Jay won that other one, right? Yes. Over here. What would Efren Reyes do? I agree about... We can't we can't say that or we can't um, um, because Efren is is like 
he's a man of his of his own. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you knew what Efren would do, you'd be right. On, oh, look you'd at this! You'd be Efren. You would right. be on the pro tour because if you could do what Efren can do, yeah, that man is just absolutely incredible. Because you're looking at a shot, going, "Yeah, what? What would you do in here?" And Efren that was would be a nice like, shot that Mr. Oh, Jennings had. Man, on. That was definitely a foul. So Landon did not. He was trying to attempt to carry him off the six and make the eight ball, but he did not hit the six ball. So that is going to give Mr. Gall ball in hand with two balls left on the table. So what he wants to do here is he wants to come off this long rail, but come high of the side pocket. He doesn't even want to get that side pocket. Oh, did you see that shot? No. What he tried to do, it looked like he was going to attempt to uh, bank it into the two ball, the one ball, into the two ball, into the side pocket, and he missed it just by a, a skosh. Uh, it was a nice shot. And I like what he did there. He put a little spin on it to make sure he got above that side pocket and not even get that side pocket anywhere involved in that shot. All right, Jose back on two. Just knocked the one ball down. And if Jay puts this one down, it'll tie the score up. Yeah, there it is. It goes. We have a tie score of one to one on table number one. I like what Jose did over there. Took what the table gave him, and he knew that if he had that shot, he had perfect angle to do exactly Jesus, what he did right this there. This kid is solid, man. I'm just impressed with his game. I would have never guessed. What, that I'm impressed? All right, so, Joe, you're fired, okay? All right. Because <laughs> I guess Jay won both of these over here. He did? Yeah. I just had a parent come up and say that uh, it should be 2-0 to zero in favor of Jay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm new. I'm sorry. I, I'll just say. Uh, <laughs> hey, new. you cannot use that excuse, okay? Yes, I can. No, you can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do, do this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. That, so that's don't blame better. me. Yeah, right? All right, Jay comes up with a dry break. He is up two to zero in a race to five. And very nicely done by Jose over there on table two. Perfect position, and there it is. He won that one. And he ends up winning that one, which is going to give him a, oh, no, he won yeah, that. He won, uh, the he won the match. So that's going to give them a point. Makani a point on the board. So now we are going to go on. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky. So I apologize, folks. I'm going to be going and uh, updating all the information as far as points, uh, names, and everything. So please bear with me. And uh, Joe, you're going to have to take it over while I'm f changing the names here. So keep them... Uh, <laughs> Keep them entertained. I'll keep them entertained. You, folks? I knew I know you're new at this, but <laughs> <laughs> keep them entertained anyway, entertained. would you? <laughs> sure. Mr. Gall. Good safety. This is gonna be a a tough game here. Going back and forth safeties. And we have another match is going to be starting up on table two, Hollingsworth. Okay, so we're on table two is now going to be.
Okay. So on table two, it is the second match, which is now a scotch a scotch match. It's going to be Hollingsworth and Ernst versus McConney and Ross. And again, back to the scoreboard. I just want to quick explain the scoreboard again. The outer two boxes on the outsides of the scoreboard is the current games won in the current match. Or, I'm sorry, it should be the current match with games won. The two boxes on either side of the outer point streaming logo is the race, so it's a race to five. And the next two boxes on either sides of those are... Well, that was a nice shot to get. All right, so the outer two by the boxes outside that are the points that they have for the overall score. So, Joe, guess yes. what? What? We're going to bring in a little junior here, and he's going to commentate with you. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. The two of us so, that don't know what's going on, or I'm, at least I'm one gonna, of us. I'm going to be right behind you. I'm going to be right behind you. I'll do the score updates. You guys just go ahead and introduce yourself to him. So you All right, so I'm going to let uh, Jackson Schultz up in here, and he's going to commentate with uh, Joe for a little bit here. Yeah, he's going to grill him, and he's going to get him uh, get him going, and I'm going to be right behind him. So uh, one second. Jackson, Jackson, you're perfect for this. You even look better than Brian. We'll try and do a little interview and still watch the games. How's that? Yeah, that's good. All right, Jax, so give, give us a little bio. Where are you from? I'm from Alabama. For, give us your first and last name. Jackson Schultz. Uh, Jackson Schultz. Jackson Schultz. How old are you, buddy? I'm 12 years old. 12 years old. How long have you been playing pool? Three years. Three years. Where do you play at? I play at Iron City Billiards, and that's pretty much all. Yeah. What team do you play for? Uh, I play for Scholar Hesses. And how did you guys get here? Uh, we won last year, and we are automatically had a qualifying spot. We gave you a qualifying spot from last yeah. year? Okay. And give us a little bit about your team. Who's all with you? Where are they from? If you know some of that. Um, I think Landon's from Missouri. Scholar Hess is from uh, Maryland. And I don't know where Penn's from. And uh, Eddie, I don't know where him, his from, and Johnny. What do you think about this venue? Uh, the venue, like this place. Oh, I love Sticks. it. Sticks. This, love this place. yeah. I came here, I think, three weeks ago, and I won a tournament. I got fifteen hundred and ninety-five dollars. Wow, good for you. Yeah. Would you buy with it a um, new stick? Yeah. <laughs> Bought me a brake stick. Did you? What kind? Uh, BK Rush. PK Rush. What do you shoot with? I shoot with a Q-Tech. Q-Tech? And how do you like that? I like it. Soft tip, medium, hard? Me um, soft. Soft. And where do you play at usually? I play at Iron City. Iron City in what? Leagues? Uh, no. Just, just tournaments. Tournaments. The big time uh, on the road show on Facebook. Um, that was this past weekend. I think first place was 50 grand. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's some money. Yeah. If you ever won that, what would you do with that? I don't know. <laughs> Too much money to think of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here, buddy. Yeah, me too. It's going to be a fun weekend. Yeah. You shoot pretty good pool. Thank you. What's your Fargo? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. I don't really play Fargo tournaments. No. I think it's like a four, 475 tops. Wow. Yeah. And you you hang around with any of these guys or? Yeah, I hang around with Landon. Uh, sometimes Colston. I don't know. Um, and then uh, Payne. I see Payne a lot. And. Did you come with mom and dad? Yeah. Did 
you guys drive or fly? We drove. Drove? It's two hours. Two hours. Oh, great. We drove all the way from Wisconsin. Yeah. That's a drive, ain't it? Oh, my God, yeah. Brian likes to drive all night, so we, <laughs> we left at 5.30 and got here at 9.30 the next day. Dang. So y'all got here today? Yesterday. We got here, set up everything, uh, and we didn't leave here last night till about 7.30, and then Brian had to come back, but um, we're here today, yeah. a little bit refreshed, Yeah. ready to watch some great pool. I mean, you shoot a good game. Yeah, thank you. And what's your next event? Oh, uh, I don't know. No? I think it's... Does so mom and dad keep you up on that? Yeah. They just say, hey, you're going to go play this weekend? And yeah. You ride along, right? Yeah. Does mom and dad play at all? Yeah, my dad, he he plays an APA. He's a nine. Oh, really? Yeah, my mom's like a, I think a four. Well, tell your dad to give your mom some points. He does. He tries. Yeah, Jackson, um, Shane, Shane Robinson. Oh, I know Shane Robinson. Say, say hi to Shane. What's up, Shane? Seen your mom yeah. last weekend at Bumpers? Yeah. What's that, another pool hall? Yeah, it's in um, Huntsville, and I can't get in there. It's it's like a bar and stuff. Yeah, well, that $50,000 prize money, uh, creepy old man says we could buy a Lamborghini with it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a wrecked one, but yeah. for or fifty grand. Old, old one. Yeah. I don't think we'll get an old one for that even. No. No. No, what's your uh, choice of travel? Walk, uh, ride, run, fly. 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 I, I want to fly, but I've never flown. I've drove from Alabama all the way to Iowa. Oh, wow. Nine hours. No, I think it was 13 or nine hours. All right. Should we commentate a little bit on the games here? Let's go to table one. Do you know anything about Mr. Ernst? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I met him in Ohio about 2021, I think. COVID time? Yeah. How was that for you? Did yeah. you get to play a lot or no? Yeah, yeah, I didn't play a lot. That was my first ever big tournament in only nine hours. Oh, wow. Drive and it, I went two and out. Oh. It was crazy. Because that was like my first ever big, big tournament or tournament that I've ever played in. Well, experience is everything. Yeah. You got to play, that's the big thing. All right, Mr. Ross is uh, shooting at the two ball. Looks like he's going to try the combination for the nine. Oh, see, this is something I'd do because I play risky. Yeah. <laughs> see what he does here. Yeah, just a little bit up. But right there, yeah. That's good. There, that sounds better, buddy. Oh, oh nice a little shot. bit off. Oh, yeah. How would you have shot that? Uh, I didn't see how. Oh, well, did he have ball in hand? No. Yeah, he did. Oh, I would have probably ran out. Because I'm not good on combinations. No? No. What's your favorite shot? Uh, Probably shooting the non-ball yeah. as a cut. Good answer. <laughs> Do you know where he's from or no? Oh, I think he's from. I know where he's from. South Carolina. Because um, some of uh, his friends came down not this past weekend, but the, like three, four weekends ago. Yep. Um, some of his, he came down with some of his friends and his dad and his mom, and some of it. One of his friends wanted to gamble with my dad. No, he wanted to gamble me for twenty dollars. So really? he gambled me. He beat me seven to two, and then seven to one. My dad was so mad, or something like that. I don't know. And then he uh, what's it called? He wanted to play him. I'm just kidding. Huh? I don't know what she said. Oh, don't say nothing about dad. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that game. Yeah. 
Is that mom and dad over there? I yeah. see you with the glasses on. Yeah. Tell mom to wave. <laughs> She's at wave. Dad's the only one that listens. Well, Hayden there to she goes. Safety. I missed that one, buddy. Look at Hayden's safety that he played. Oh, that's nice. Oh, got out of that one. Gal, gal on the other table. He got off on the wrong end and got three ball. He what? He, like, I don't know how to say it. Like, like off cut it. Oh, okay. Three ball on table two. This one is. Yeah. Nice shot. Oh, wow. Nice shot. Really nice shot. Nice leave, too. I thought the second round was doubles, and I, and the third one was singles. That's what our whole team thought. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there's a little confusion on what's going on, but I think we'll get through it. Yeah. Oh, that's a 6-9 combo on table, too. Going down. Oh yeah. Hollingsworth on the seven. Oh yeah. Get to the eight. Nice sweet, nice shot, nice yeah. combo, of Mr. Mumbird. Good shot. Team Hollingsworth wins that one. The match? Nope. Oh, oh, the Just game. the game. Two no. There's a fancy setup y'all got here. Yeah, too bad I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Ernst breaking on two. Yeah. So where are you guys staying at? Uh, the quality. Quality. <laughs> yes, who's uh, Joseph? Table one is two two. Thanks for the update, bud. I'm trying to interview here and be new at this for me is uh, I'm watching all over the place. That was a good break from uh, or, um, Gal. That's hard on the one. Maybe carry him off to the two, two on the yeah. side. Yeah. Oh, no, he went safe. Did he get it? Oh, that was a good save. Yeah. He's froze on that six. Is he or not? I can't see it. Yeah. Yeah, he's froze. I told him, I said, if you win that game, if you win this match, I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of cookie? I don't know. I <laughs> told him any time. <laughs> as long as you win the match, I'll get you a cookie. Or I said a caramel frappe. Hey, that sounds good. I thought it was coffee. My mom got one last night. I thought it was coffee. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's nowhere good, near though, coffee. It? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Keep you up all night? Yeah. All right, Mr. Hollingsburg's going to run the one down. 
Nice oh, shot. Wow. You got to hit that nice with a little shot. bit of authority yeah. to get by the side pocket. And did he get a lead for the partner? Nice draw. Nice Dude. position. Oh, he played Dude. that nice. Hold on, I'm going to scoot this chair. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. It's kind of hard to see over this. Yeah, especially I know we can see right in front of us, but it's better to look at the table. Did he get over enough? Possibly. Looks like he might be able to just get by there, right? Yeah. He plays a good game. Who? Mr. Gall? Oh, yeah. You know him? Uh, I met him once or twice. I, I can't even believe I made that uh, six ball. That was a nice shot. We'll yeah. have to go back to that sometime. <coughs> I hit that so hard. I thought I was going to scratch. <laughs> All right, down on the four. Oh. Oh. This, oh, I thought that was. Oh, I thought that was going in. Yeah. That would have been bad. What would you do here on the four ball? Mm. Safe? Uh, I would go for it. If he, oh, never mind. No, I'd put him. I'd save. Because I, th I thought the nine was the uh, cue ball for a yeah. second. I'd, I'd freeze the. Oh, yeah. I'd try to freeze the cue ball on the seven, right? Yeah. Must be a good shot. Let's see what he does. <laughs> Good shot. Did you get him? No, uh, he's out a little Maybe. bit, in it? Possibly. Uh, I think he got him by here. Or he may be able to do a cross side bank. Yeah, yeah. anytime you put some draw and you don't hit exactly where it should go if it hits the cushion or you the corner. The, you got to hit the heart of the pocket if yeah. you want to put draw on it. Yep. Otherwise, it did exactly what it did. Yep. Bounce back and forth and then jump out. Nice shot. Nice shot. By but Gal. got a hope and a prayer there. Yeah. How do you measure these up to shoot these kick shots? I don't know. I just, I just shoot at him. Pick a spot and shoot. Yeah. Yeah. I know there's guys out there that do. Uh, they have ways to cut the dots, all of that stuff. But they I never. Look at the diamonds, yeah. Yeah, I never got got into it that much. Me either. I've only started playing real pool about four or five years ago. I'm only a four twenty three. Fargo? Yeah. Not bad. Not as bad as my friend. All right. It's the goal. Nice shot. <laughs> he plays a really good game. Oh, yeah. Oh, what grade are you in school? I'm in sixth. Sixth? Yeah. Where do you go to school? Uh, Asbury uh, Middle School. You do anything else besides pool? Uh, 
Uh, I'm, st- I'm fixing to start playing basketball and football. Oh, good for you. But I've, I've, I've played football before. It's just pool got – I got in the pool and then start playing – started to play it. And I just – I may start pl- f- playing football. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. What are you going to do when you grow up? Uh, Stick with pool? Yeah, probably. Yeah. But I want to graduate school so that way I can have a backup plan. There you go. There that you way. go, brother. That's a good plan. Yeah. If pool don't work, have something else. Hey, Shannon, what, uh, the kicking system, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Practice that. You ever try that? No. Never tried that before. Oh, like the... I think I've tried the kicking system. I don't know. All right, Mr. Gall's at the six. Yep. He's straight in. That's good. (gasps) Oh, Jazz was going for the jump. Jump. And, you know, he's been around for a while. You know him? Yeah. I met him in Bristol a couple years ago. Yeah. Well, how long have you been playing? Three. Three years. What was your first tournament you won? Oh, um, probably won in, like, Hoover, Alabama. What's the biggest one you ever won? Iron City. I got seventh in it. I got 3,500. The tournament is... Sticks. Sticks. Yes, Jazz did go airborne. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're trying to do a bunch of stuff here. and <laughs> Derek Owen said, Jackson, sounds like he needs another caramel frappe. Yeah, that would be good right now, hey? <laughs> yeah. If somebody hears that, tell them to bring us a couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Gall just knocked the, eight, or the nine ball down for the win. Mm-hmm. On, uh, I just showed him my my caramel frappe I got this morning. <laughs> but he's a lightweight. He only drinks half of it. You, me, and you would drink the whole thing right away. <laughs> it was a little boost. That's two two. It is two two two. I think. Two, yeah. No. Who won on table one? Hollingsworth. Mr. Ross for the break. If right if Landon makes a ball, I'll get my crumb, I'll get my cookie. <laughs> Let's see this. So it's a Team match and then su- singles and then a doubles. Yes. Single scotch, single scotch. So we. What is? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, you know it. May may even come in with some eye black. <laughs> 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 All right, Alex just asked uh, Jackson, "You going to show these dance moves off this weekend?" Yeah. What kind of dance moves? Uh, skipping. Um, if they turn the music up loud enough, I can. I, and like some hip hop and stuff. You do any break dancing? Uh, no. No. Skip around the table. Skip. <laughs> we'll have to see that later on. Yeah. Um. All right, Mr. Member is up on one, and Mr. Ross on two, both breaking at the same time. I gotta give him a cookie. Oh, good shape on it. Oh yeah, I like this one. That one ball, yeah. I think he can squeeze by there. No. Possibly. Might have to throw it a little bit, or is he gonna jump? Yeah. 
spin it around. I like his like wrap on his stick. It's like a snake, kind of. Is it? I haven't seen it. Oh yeah, that is kind of cool. Yeah. He's got that bow cut. <laughs> <laughs> Go off the rail. Yeah. Oh, oh, unfortunate. So Ooh, that's not a give me right there. Yeah. You didn't get much sleep last night, did you? No, I went to bed at one thirty. What? Yeah. What were you doing? Watching TikTok. Oh, my God. Or watching Shane break and run five racks. Or that? Like a Daniel Moksha or something like that. Where was he playing at? Uh, The U- uh, UK Open. UK. All right. Mr. Ross shooting at the one. Is there a three foul? Uh, is there a three foul? Yes. Oh, Okay. Last time you were there, you snapped off a monthly tournament. Yeah, that that's the that's the guy that um, ran the tournament that I won. Alex, I never, or Alan, I never got beat. Wow. I beat a ten, like a ten that's in APA. I beat him five to six. Oh wow. It's just I don't I don't know how I even won. Because you get on fire and you can just beat anybody, then right? Yeah. That's the guy right there with the ball head. Right there. That's the 10. He plays pretty good. <laughs> he broke it around like three racks. Yeah. But then. Then you came back? Yep. Can't get mad at yourself. Always nope. got to stay confident. Yes, sir. The mental game is the thing. Yep. They're all uh, creepy old man. Yeah, they are all. Diamonds. There's some at Iron City where I play. Yep. The owner of Mike Cantese, Catanese, um, he has three top pocket tables. Really? Yeah. So I, next year, if they don't have it here, they'll they'll probably have it at Iron City. Those are the narrow pockets, right? No, the ones that that at my other, at where I play at Iron City, they're like three inch. Yeah. Three and a half inches. They're little. You got to get them. You got to hit them yeah. to get them. Yeah. And it, Mike may, if I ask, or if, like, since him and Monica are good friends, he may, like, one day next year, like, let us get a, a practice table over there and put that top pocket table there, get it oh, delivered. Wow. That's That'd cool. be good. Yeah. Because then k- kids would actually, like, get warmed up and get ready, ready. Yeah. Do you play here a lot at all? Um, I used to in the APA. I was a seven, but I didn't want to play it no more because, like, I'd come down here and it would be like I'd play one match. And then be done. Yeah, and it'd be freaky because it's a two-hour drive. Yeah. So I just I come down here almost, I'd say, the, whenever um, I was here last month, I, that was the first time I've been here in, like, I'd say three months. Oh, really? Yeah. I, pl- I stay around Alabama a lot. Do you play in the summer a lot, or do you guys uh, yeah. take off time? I, sometimes I take off. I don't know. It depends. Who's your travel companion? Mostly mom or dad? or My both? dad. My dad. And That's my mom. Cool. That's cool. It's neat that you have parents that uh, keep you going and yeah. keep you out of the streets yeah. and keep you up late at night. Yeah. <laughs> One time I didn't leave the pool hall until 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Yeah. Good tournament? Yep. Went home and slept. And I used to, whenever I, I used to go to a different school, I'd um, have to, would go to this pool, like pool and bar and grill. Yep. And there was a tournament. We wouldn't get home until like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I had and I would have to wake up at 6 to get on the bus. Yeah. That's my dad said if I if I ever don't like give him a hard time, I won't be able to do it again. And it was on Tuesdays, Mondays and Thursdays. Wow. Yeah. 
That's dedication to the game. Yeah. Good for you, bud. Stay away from them electronics. Yeah. On my off time, sometimes I play I play my video game. Yeah. Sometimes. Not all the time, though. Good. You should get rid of video games. I, I, I only have it. Um, I, don't, I don't really have nothing big, big. Good safety, oh. but... Ooh. Ooh. If Landon kicks at this, I don't know if it's straight in. Here's what I'd, yeah, I'd do. A kicker down. Yeah. Maybe even try to hit the inside rail so you kick the two ball out a little bit to push that down, no? Yeah. <coughs> Was he just going to save it? Yeah. If I would him, I would do. I'll do that same thing too. Video games pay millions. Hey, Derek, that is true. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do play a lot. Of, pay a lot of money. Put us too, <laughs> Derek. Safety coming here. Oh, oh no. spun her a little bit too much. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate. For Mr. Memberg he gives Mr. Ross ball in hand. Or Gall, I'm sorry, Mr. Gall. I got to get everybody's names down here and figure out who all you guys are. Yeah. That'll take a while. Yeah, me and Payne play a um, doubles match. I think not after this next. Not after. I think it maybe actually this. After next. I, I'll remember your name, Jax, because I have a grandson named Jackson. Yeah. Jax, that's what I call him. Yeah. They used to call me Action Jackson. Action Jackson. That's yeah, cool that's name. my nickname. What's your pool name? Action Jackson. Action Jackson. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Call makes the two balls, shoots the, looking at the three. That was a nice shot. Yeah, very. Who's going to be your partner for uh, doubles? Uh, Pay McBride. Me and him were shooting good earlier. We were playing doubles. Yeah, I was watching you guys warm up. Collingsworth shooting at the two. Oh. oh, he pushed. Pushed? Okay. Oh. oh, I'm so tired. You need to do it, take a nap, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Are they going to get me in with a caramel fry pace? Yeah, no kidding. I'm going to ask my mom to go get me one. Bring one back for your buddy, Joel. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, oh, these tables draw really nice. These are new cushion. Oh, new, uh, oh. oh you got buy. Yeah, they just refelted them, like, I think last weekend. Last weekend, yeah. She was, Monica was talking about that. This championship class. Yeah, but, like, two, whenever I was here the last time. Yep. It was dirty. Was these it really? tables were dirty. I'm, I'm going to have that roof over here. Oh, nice oh, attempt. Nice he, is Gal fixing to jump this? Is he? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's jumping it. No. Yeah, he is. Winning the number right because I don't want to spell it. One day nine. Oh, uh, it don't spot. It counts. Counts. So, to answer the question with the nine ball rack, is the one on the spot or the nine? 
other one? The one is. So to answer your question, yes. May I say around that? You think so? Yeah. Creepy old man. Yeah. I don't know. Derek, the t- um. I wasn't here last year, so Jackson can comment to that. But oh, what? on the tables, they were a little um, messy last year. Oh yeah, just a little bit. But oh. being the first year, everything is going to have little glitches, and you just got to work them out. And this year, you came back, and you got brand new cloths. Yeah. So how that that? Thank you, Monica. Yeah. That was awesome. And I just like how they play. They play really nice. Didn't get to play on them yet, but just watching you guys, it seems like they're... Uh, they're really fast, especially this one. This one's way faster than that one. Is it? How do they bank? Pretty good? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Memberg. What if he's going to cut it? Oh. oh, nice shot. Oh, it's going to leave him something, too. Can't get a roll. Nope. All right. What's Mr. Ross shooting at here? Two ball? He's going to have to kick to get the two just to get the hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I need a caramel for a paint. Is he going to get it? Get it? Get it? Nope. Oh. Oh. This game is fractions of inches. You got to know a lot of angles. Yeah. And how Math- the- Mathematics mm-hmm. is good in this game. I geometry. like the part. Yeah, geometry. This is a good uh, chess game, too, to learn. Yeah, that's the thing. I've never learned uh, geometry. No? no? I just natural, I guess. You're only 12, so you got a little bit of ways to go. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Yeah. Mr. Gall's on the nine. She's trying to carry him off and hit that three in there? No, I was just going to bury him. Good shot by Landon. Yeah, that was a nice shot. I got to play the go to Dakota Block. Dakota Bryant in the singles. I watched him. He was he shoots a good game too. Yeah. Nice shot. Nice finish, Mr. Gall. Yeah. Four to two. Oh, the food smells good here. Wait, what did that say? Oh, to it play can pool video games. It can truly Patrick, help your game. You can play vi- pool video games. It can truly help your game. Yeah, I play yeah. that a lot. That's what I do. That's the only video game I'll play. Yeah, we answered that one. All right, where are we at here, Mr. Hollingsworth shooting the three ball? Yep. Nice shot. Nice leave. Oh, he played that perfect back and forth. Yeah. That was nice. He used to have a soundboard where, like, he would, uh, what's called, like. Yeah, and then those ones were like, don't, 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 or, like, this one. He liked that one. 
There you go. Now you know where that button is. Yeah. All right, Mr. Ernst is up on the four ball. We'll try to leave Mr. Hollingsworth some position on the five. And he's going to get it. So just a little short, but yeah. you should be able to do something with that, eh? Maybe able to cut it. Maybe able to cut it. Yeah, he's looking at trying to get him something on the eight ball or a seven ball. I mean, nice shot. Oh wow! Nice shot, boy. He played that perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my. And we're gonna have a good leave here, Mr. Call playing safety because oh that three God. ball is buried down here. You got to get down here for that. So. Gotta make room for it. Yep. I say so you can have a better shot on it. That's one part of the game that I'm uh, starting to use a little bit more. Yeah. Is safeties. Play it's me too, for real. I used to not know how I, to. I know. I go up to the table and I think I can make everything. Yeah, I used to think that. But started getting into it. All right. Yeah. Hollingsworth wins that one. Hollingsworth? You know the bucks. Yeah. And Mr. Gall is back up with ball in hand. Shooting. Is he going to go for it? You think so, Jax? Uh, Gall? Or right there. 2-9 oh, combination. He's going for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's play scary, it. though. Yeah, I like to play. Yeah, if he makes let's, it. Let's do it. It's a match. If he makes it, that's a match. Yep. Oh. oh, nice try. Yeah, maybe a little bit too hard. <laughs> and we got a new match up on two. Who is it? Was oh, it singles? Yeah, singles. Okay. Is it Bryson? Oh, he's froze on a three. And a good save. Oh, wow. That was a nice save. Yeah. We weren't going to do much with that three ball. You had to get that kicked out of there. It was yeah. buried pretty good. Did mom take our order yet? What order? For our frappes. Oh, yeah. She, needs she listening? I think. Hey, mom, can I get a caramel frappe? Make it two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh, left them room. Well, she stopped watching. That's tough when you judge uh, to try to leave the cue ball behind, you know, one of those other balls. Oh, yeah. And he gives them a shot. Yeah. Oh. I don't get why try to cut that. Oh, look at this. Comes back out. Well. Hey, thanks, Derek. We need that. Mom, go get us some frappes. Yeah. She ain't looking at us. Yeah, she's mad or something. You better look at the stream, Mom. Yeah. We need to stay awake. Yeah, we need a frappes. Frappes, Mom. Please. Now she's listening. Yeah. All right, Mr. Gall shooting the three. Good. Oh. Overcut. We need the carbon frappes. Oh. Our hearing's not working. Or something like that. Mr. Member, back. We need the caramel frappes. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, I, I need Snuck one. one I've been yawning up Door here. dash. Creepy old man, we don't need door dash. It's like not even like two minutes away. 
You know she's going to wrap us both in the head for that. <laughs> All right. What a shot that landed. He put that, like, inside, I think. Yeah, he'll come back. He's got a nice shot on the seven ball. Yeah. Kick over for the eight. <laughs> oh, man, I just like watching good pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after I get out of this, I'm going to get comfortable. Can't yeah, because we need to keep you awake for the day. Yeah, <laughs> I will start skipping around the table and fall asleep. <laughs> nice leave. Oh, yeah. There it is. Good job. Remember? Three to four. Start making a comeback. Possibly. Never say never, right, bud? Yeah. Never say never. I played on a stream a couple weeks ago, and I was down uh, four games, I believe. Playing a race to nine. Came back and won it. I was in a, what's it called? I was in Bristol about three years, not two years ago. When I was playing pain, and before I played pain, this guy had me eight to four, eight to four, or eight to five. Yeah. I can I went to the bathroom, washed my face, and all that, and I went and I came back and beat him. Refreshed. There you go, brother. All right. So we have up on table two is a new match starting, right? What no? We have a new... Oh, yeah. What's up to you? Okay, do you know anything about these guys, Jax? Reed. She's a Reed. Manipula. Reed what? What does he look? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that, Mom. No. Yeah. Where they are? Yeah, they're done. Who won? Uh, Mr. Um, Gall. Wait. Hold up. I think they went to the restroom. You did? Have you taken a break? Because it's 4 to 3. And Landon won the last month. That's the last game. Yeah, Brian. I think they're on break. Because <laughs> they got. You're keeping score too, right? I need a car for my pain. Mom. All right. Back at her here. I need a car for pain. Nice safety. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they must have just been taking a break. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to have to kick at this one. I don't know if you can see it. I couldn't see from there. Get a good break here for Landon. I know he's breaking because of his blue uh, break stick. Is that a Q-Tech? I think that's a BK Rush. Like an old BK Rush. Oh, old, old. Yeah. One of the good ones? Yeah. I like I, those older ones. I used ones. to have one, but did I lost you? it here. What? Yeah, someone stole it. You did? Yeah, someone stole it here. Man, that's the one thing I do not like is people taking other people's. Because you just, 
You get so used to a stick. I accidentally forgot it right here, right here. Man. Leaning up against this. Came back the next week, gone. Nobody you, put it up or nothing. You can microchip those. What's that mean? Put a chip in there. That way if somebody hacks it, you can just GPS it. Put a, uh, what's it called? Put microchip. an air tag in it. Yeah. Put an apple tag in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a little bit heavier. Yeah. Thanks and get it. Get it. I had a buddy of mine get his taken from the pool hall that we shoot at. And it was a... Good stick? Yeah. But, uh, what's his name? I'll let Payne let me use his brake stick. Yeah? Yeah. I, I, that for, whenever I played that game, I hit that one ball way too hard. Yeah? Yeah. That second ball, I nailed it. <laughs> you like second ball or head break? Huh? You like the second ball break or head head ball break? Head ball. Head ball. Head, second ball. Yeah, you guys played. I see where I come from. I play second ball. We don't have to hit the head ball. Oh, so like you can hit the like say right now you can hit the eight. No, on the break. Yeah, you instead could. of hitting the head ball. Yeah, you could hit the eight. I feel like that would make you scratch more. Yeah, uh, I don't. Uh, I'm learning this game. <laughs> so, I've been playing pool for a few years, and it was always bar pool. So, I'm just learning this game really yeah. for the last couple years. Yeah. So, a lot of the pool talk and whatnot, I don't know about. See ya. I just know I like to watch good pool. We got a jump shot on one, two. Oh. 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 Good oh. attempt. That, not that five ball came back. It's tough to break in them short distances like that on, oh, yeah. on the side. Yeah. Where's Brian? Get? Where's Brian? Uh, when he gets back, I'll walking around. When he gets back, I'm gonna go sit with my team. You can go now, bud, if you want. Oh, all right. How do Good I? talking to you. Well, you just leave that alone. All right. We'll see you back here in a little while. Frat bays. All right. Mister Member broke on one. Nigan. Makes pockets the six ball. Shooting the seven. No, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't. Creepy old man to answer your question. No, it wasn't the Sussex Bowl. It was this was a couple years ago as a friend of mine. No, Joseph, you can't hit the second ball on the break on nine ball. I, I play a lot of eight ball. And I hit the second ball, so that was, like I said, I'm just getting into nine and ten ball somewhat. But I just I like to play eight ball. All right, Mr. Gall, shooting a three ball is on the rail. Probably gonna play a safety here. Nice break from Mr. Gwyn. Nagwin. Unfortunately, scratched. And it is ball in hand. Or. Manipula.
Nice safety by Mr. Gall. The Mr. Menberg. A nice shot. Bank that up there like nobody's business. Back. All right, Jack. Yeah, I was actually talking to Eddie, ordering up some uh, some cloth that uh, he was supposed to bring with him, <laughs> but he forgot. <laughs> <laughs> he might have his glasses on too tight. He's got something on too tight. Yeah, <laughs> glasses, underwear, something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Derek, no, what was he? Doing? No, I was. Traveling to North Charlotte, North Carolina, I went to a local tournament one, and I'm 90% sure they followed me back to the hotel and broke. Are you serious? Oh, wow. That's horrible. Oh, man. That's horrible. That sucks. What Did his, did his keys get stolen? Yeah. We oh. were talking about that before. Yeah, I saw in a pawn shop one time, a buddy of mine showed a, a McDermott queue. The, it was a very expensive queue in a pawn shop. And I thought it was stolen, so I told him to pick it up because I wanted to find the owner because that's just the most disgusting thing to me, honestly. I know. And uh, he picked it up, and, and, and fortunately, it was not stolen. Um, so I, I have that cue right now, which I'm going to raffle off, but uh, I thought for sure it was stolen because any pool player knows that you can get more money from a beautiful cue uh, than taking it to a pawn shop yeah. here to just sell it or raffle it off so i'd like to know what the what the pawn shop paid for it yeah i know they sold it for 1200 or 1300 hours is what i bought it for but yeah i wonder what they get probably probably on a game like eight nine hundred bucks for it. i'll bet you they didn't give them that for it you don't think so no that's just that's the worst and if well i'd say if they knew anything about pool being that cheap for that stick they'd they would have thought right away that it was, yeah. But any scores changed while I was gone? Yeah, they're just back from player break on this one over here, so it's four to three. Uh, Jay Gall is in the in the lead. So Jay is on the hill for this match, and Landon has three, so he's going to win two. So you notice Landon wasn't wasn't uh, happy about leaving that five in the pocket. You don't you want to push that ball past the pocket because you do leave him a kick shot to possibly make the shot. Oh, a little bit too oh, much. Oh, he just missed it. Got away with it. So creepy old man, uh, yeah. That was the incident at Sussex Bowl where the guy recognized his stick on the stream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's we were talking about sticks being stolen before, and that he brought that up. I didn't know anything about it. Oh, was he talking about my stream? The, yeah. Or, or, the outer points? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a challenge match um, that was being played between Legina Redland and um, a guy named Mac down at uh, Sussex Bowl. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a long story. I don't get into too much of it, but uh, the individual ended up calling the cops. And the cops showed up, and I'm like, yeah, could you wait till the match is <laughs> I mean, the, ma the match is almost over. He's like, nope, I'm not waiting. And uh, they approached him on it, and they checked the serial number because Predator Qs. Nice right, shot, so Mr. Member. Manapolo won that one over there. Going to give him a 1-0 to zero lead. I was pronouncing that name wrong. I'm assuming. I don't know. I just I read said it Manipula. Up. Oh. Manipula. You, Manipula. You could be right. I don't know. All right, I'm so never right, Brian. <laughs> I'm never right. <laughs> that sounds like my world. All right. So Landon ties it up, and it is Hill Hill, folks. I like Ooh. how all the kids are staying focused. Yeah. Just watching pool. 
So we're going to get, uh, I'm going to go, someone in, so Patrick, hell, someone in Vegas two weeks ago had three sticks, credit cards, and three cash stolen at the, re oh, yeah, 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 did you hear about that, Patrick? From his room. What? Yeah, from his room. I don't know if, if that's what you're referring to, but yeah, there was a re uh, report going around that uh, I got tagged in because I was out there at Nationals. And that happened actually last year as well. Uh, but apparently, uh, a guy had reported that he was. They were sleeping. They were oh sleeping. My God! And they came and into the someone room. Someone came into the room, stole their cues, their credit cards, their wallets, everything. Was and it an inside job? Uh, you know, it. It has I'm to telling be. you, it has to be because there was another person who then uh, commented on there that yes, they had the same thing happen, but her husband had woken up and oh. scared him out. But wow. I, I actually stayed at the Golden. Nugget? No, not the uh, Gold Coast. I'm sorry. I stayed at Gold Coast, which is right across the street from the rail. And what I loved about the Gold Coast is they had a security guard sitting right by the elevators. You had to actually scan your car, your key card oh, before really? you could even get to the elevators. So You know, it, it, oh, he said, well, I'm sorry. Table two is 1-1. David won the first game. Thank you. I appreciate that update. Again, I apologize for if we're a little bit behind here. It's... It's my fault, Brian. No, no. It's it, it, trust me. Even if I was sitting up here, it's it's the two tables. You're commenting on one. You don't see one, but we appreciate uh, our viewers out there helping us out. We certainly do. This is our first time actually doing two tables at once, and and it's it, my first time. Yeah, and it's his. Yeah, he's uh, first time here in in the booth helping out, and I certainly appreciate you here helping out. Wow, look at that shot. Well, if I do anything wrong, you can uh, blame Natasha. No, I'm just always blaming you. <laughs> <What the? laughs> why why are we taking it outside the booth man <laughs> not a chance <laughs> you're getting all the blame here Thanks. brother <laughs> that's, that's next year when we come though you got to wear a pair of cowboy boots with that hat <laughs> oh, because I am. you can't I am. wear shorts and tennis shoes with a cowboy <laughs> hat that's just redneck that's a wisconsin thing yeah yeah joseph i appreciate it and yes i thank you again <laughs> <clears throat> well, that, that's what that's a good idea that's what the Air Force does to the Marines they blame them sure <laughs> first the fight <laughs> first to get you in yep <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool look at they got the uh, they got the stream up on the TV right there we should uh, pan around again. Yeah, we can do that. We certainly can do that. So, yeah, what we're going to do here is, in just a little bit, I don't want to bother too many of the games here, but uh, I'd like to maybe when they, you know what, I think when we take a break, maybe what we'll do is we'll s scan around the room. I don't want to miss any oh, shots for you here. Was that a shot? Did it stick? I thought he was going to bury him behind the nine ball. That would have been a sweet, sweet shot, Mr. Gall. But oh, Bryson. Bryson's got a good you stroke can see on it. him. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, over here on table one. Yeah. yeah. You can see it. He's going to carry him off. Oh, I thought he was going to carry him, but oh, look at this. See, this is I don't. What I don't like about that particular shot, he got away with it. But what I don't like about that shot is you're pushing the two ball, the two ball down by the nine. Yeah, I mean, that's the last thing you want to do. If that if that two ball would have floated a lot further, you might have had the two nine combo. I thought he was maybe going to come off the carry him off the two and try to make the three. Because even if you don't make it, you push the two over by the eight ball. Yeah. And you don't leave him with a with too much of a shot if you can get the cue ball back down table. But, ah, but here, what he's going to do is probably try to s just scrape off the two and get behind the nine and s just bury him there. Yeah, he can see just enough of it that he that's a yep. shot that yep. can be done. Yep. And yep. Just yep. Like yep. that. Oh, oh wow, oh. so close. Oh. So close. Wow. Still a nice attempt. Yep. All right, Bryson's got himself in perfect shape here. Stop shot right here, stop shot right here on the eight ball. Did you see him that last year? This Bryson? Yeah. I don't, he wasn't here last year. No. No. He's uh he's a new one new one to the event. 
So all of Team Hess except for one player. Uh-oh. Ooh. Yeah, he snuckered himself. So Team Hess is players that were all here last year except for one player that was replaced. Um, and then uh, Jackson, who was just in the booth, he was yep. here last year. Nice kid. Yep. Yeah, he's fun to talk. Oh to. yeah, he was. He was a blast last year. We had a lot. Little of fun entertaining too. After yep. you left, he's was he got some good <laughs> stories. <laughs> so we're gonna get some more of these juniors up here, because um, we want you to get to know. We want you to get to know as many as you can. So we're gonna actually try to get. I went and talked to Tracy. Yeah. And she actually talked to all the. Uh, oof. She actually went and talked to almost all the juniors, and all the juniors said that they would like to come up in the booth at some point. So Good. what we're going to do is we're going to start picking some juniors that aren't playing. We're going to get them up in the booth so that you all can get to know these juniors as best as you can because i tell you what, again, this is, the free ch this is our future of pool. Yep. It looks and pretty bright. Absolutely. <clears throat> I like the big tables. Yeah. I do, too. I don't plan them enough because obviously all our leagues and tournaments yeah. are, are bar table, but bar box. But I love big table as well. <coughs> all right. So we'll, let's see. I wonder if we should. Uh, do you want to? Uh, you want to go get me, have me go grab somebody and get them to come up here? As I say, if, um, but um, maybe the. Yeah, you can ask him if he wants to come up here. Yeah, I think he just, yeah, he just got done playing, so. Yeah, see, hey, either him or the kid next to him, the one that played with him. All right, so Joe is going to go up and grab one of the juniors here. See which one wants to come up and uh, sit in the booth here. All right. We got Mr. Howlingsworth coming up in the booth here. All right, you good? Am I talking this much? We're talking both. Oh. We, so we, okay. this is the production going on. So we got both tables going here. So, all right, we got another junior up here. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Landon Hollinsworth. It's great to be here. Landon, you were here last year, right? <coughs> I was, yeah. yes. Yeah, what, and uh, who was on your team last year? Um, last remember? year, I had, yeah, I had, uh, do you want me to name all the names? Yeah, I'd do some of it. Um, Dakota Rivera, um, Savannah Easton, um, Channy White, me, myself, um, uh, and that's really all I remember just off the top of my head. Yeah. So where are you from? Uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina. Okay, so yeah. I don't – small cities. Like what, what big city are you close to? Um – Greenville's pretty big. We're in Is South it? Carolina. Yeah, it's, um, I would say, I don't know, probably hour from Columbia. You know where Columbia okay. is? Okay, yep, yep, yeah. yep. Okay. Just trying to help our viewers understand yeah. kind of where. Uh, all right, you got Joseph Gabriel says, what's up, Lambo? What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> so is that is that your nickname, yeah. Lambo? Yeah, everybody right. calls me Lambo, yeah. <laughs> nice. So what events you got planned for the year? Um, next uh, next weekend, I have a Junior American Series stop in North Carolina. Um, and then numerous events later on down the year. I'm going to try and get the Wisconsin Open for Predator. And oh, are you? Nice. Yeah. I'm going to well, try and do a few other ones. Actually, unfortunately, this year, they're not having the Predator event. The what In Wisconsin? No. Really? Yeah. Did it get canceled? Oh, yeah, unfortunately. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, because of the... Well, I think they're... We just had a meeting with Ozzy, uh, actually, via Zoom, to discuss our, our uh -huh. state tournament. 
And, yeah, this year, unfortunately, because of the WPA stuff that happened, they had canceled it. But I think they're in the process now of trying to reschedule. So you're talking about the pro event there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, they're not going to have it this year. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Jay Gall ended up winning that one to give their team another point on the board. So, yeah, we're unfortunately, we're, this year we're doing a little different because of uh, another streamer who was supposed to stream the other table. We're doing two at once. So uh -huh. we got a lot of stuff here to, to get to. So I apologize. I know. Um, oh, you're good. Uh, well, I do plan on trying to get to some of the Predator events um, this year. Um, that They're just... They're a good format to get ready for the pro events just because Matchroom is so difficult to get into right now. Is it really? Yeah, it's it's ridiculously tough. So well, I, I tell you what I do like about that whole the whole Predator thing going on, or not the Predator, but the WNT World Nine Ball mm -hmm. Tour. What I love about it is it's bringing a lot of money to pool. Yeah. I mean, you look at that Saudi event, that first yeah. the Saudi event, a million dollar purse. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. it's something that I've never got to personally see with my own eyes. Um, uh, right. I know that, that <laughs> it was offered back then to those players back in the day. They kind of had some stuff like this offered to them, but it kind of went away. Yeah. And now it's it's slowly trying to build its way back up the ladder, which it's is something I like. It's coming back, which is nice. I, I'm happy to see it because here's the thing. I, you know, when the Moscone Cup comes up, you always get the people on Facebook that are saying there are no good players coming from the U.S. You know, and, and here's the thing. I don't disagree with them, but what I disagree with is the fact that overseas, you've got, there's a lot of money in pool, like snooker mm -hmm. and, and that and the Chinese pool. There's a lot of money in that. Mm -hmm. So you've got younger players that are saying, hey, I want to get good because I can win some money. Yeah. Well, here in the U.S., for how many years now, there's been no money in pool. No. So would you... Obviously, you're too young to have kids. Don't have kids because I'm sure your dad will kill you. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so if you had a kid and he's like, Dad, I want to play pool or, or uh, whatever, you'd look at them and be like, yeah, no, that's yeah. not happening because you, uh, you, you can't afford 100%. to, you know, I guess supply for your family with that kind of money. And, and what people don't look at is it's not like it's any different than any other sport and like what you have to put in. You put in your right. time. You put in all your effort, and it doesn't cost you any cheaper than it does to go to a baseball game on a plane. Correct. <laughs> you're still paying the plane ticket, and you're still paying a hotel fee. It's just you're playing for less. So Yes, sir. That's what makes it so tough, but what we're I, getting there. What I love about the fact that money is coming back in the pool is that now you're going to have like parents like your dad who are, are going to support. I mean, not that he wouldn't support you regardless, but... Yeah. There's that little extra added yep. that say, yeah, you know what? Now I'd love for you to yeah. do this because now you could support a family exactly. being a professional pool player. And that comes into equation a lot when you're telling people, mm -hmm. hey, what do you do? Well, I play pool. Oh, so you're a hustler. No, that's not <laughs> what I want to be known <laughs> right? as. Like I want to be known as that professional appearance pool player. So. That is the best way to put it is yeah. that most people look at a pool player as you're a hustler. You're trying to hustle for money. Yeah. Now you don't have to do that. Now it's be like, no. I can actually survive yeah, and play pool for a living. And that's what I love about it. All right. So I apologize. I got to get the, um, let's see. I got to get, uh, so Cheney, this is a Scotch doubles now, yes. So I got to get um, updated here. Um, ba -ba 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 How long have you been playing pool? Uh, seven years. Going on seven years right at it. Seven years, really. Nice. Good for you, man. Well, I tell you what. In that seven years, you've obviously learned quite a bit. Who uh, <laughs> has your has your dad been your coach most He's of your life? He's kind of or? been. I mean, uh, um, when it goes for getting me to places, when I was very young, it was my mom, and I had a couple people that would carry me around. Uh -huh. But when it comes to the learning side, um, it's definitely been my dad. Yeah, he. Yeah. Uh, first six months, I had a coach, um, and then after that. I went on my own with me and my dad, and we just kind of took it from there and nice. just made it our own. Yeah. So, who's been your primary coach? Um, up? Like the for six, the first six months that I had a coach, it was Lori John. Okay. And then after the six months, um, like I said, my dad was like, "Okay, you kind of got the how to hold it fundamentals. Yeah, you kind of got all that. Now let's take it." Okay. And so he took me back, um, and I stopped taking lessons from her, and then 
he he's really just that's helped so me, been yeah. there for me. Yeah. Good. That's awesome. To, yeah. That's awesome to hear. All right, I gotta get. I apologize here. If you want to kind of keep our enter or our viewers entertained here for a second while I change the scoreboard, so I don't have things wrong here, I would certainly appreciate yeah. that, man. I think we're at three to one on this right table. Is it three to one now? Yes, on the oh, right I'm, table. I'm way behind. Do you know? Do you know? Uh, is it? Uh, it's Bryson. Bryson, yep. three to one. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Looks like he's oh, Jos try and Joseph play was. Uh, safe. Okay, so Derek Owens. Said, sorry, I stepped away. Who is in the booth right now? Introduce yourself again. Uh, this is Landon Hollingsworth. I hope you're doing well. Captain of teams, Team Hollingsworth. And I am Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck, as you all, well, as some of you might know. All right, so I am going to get uh, three to one in favor of Bryson. A shot there from Skyler Hess to play safe behind the three ball. Open look here for Bryson. Oh, that's your sheet. Oh, I don't know what I do with the other sheet. Good shot there for Bryson. Got him a little awkward angle here on the two. He's either going to try and come um, three rails back to near position of where he's at now or one across and back to where he's at. Most likely going to cut the three in the bottom left here. He may try and go across and draw below the seven here. Yeah, that's what he's trying. He needed to hit it with a little bit more oomph. We'll see what he'll elect to do here. You can play the safe behind the three, five, eight. Send the cue behind the nine. Um, or play the cue softly behind the nine. That's a great shot, too. Good shot. All right, I don't know what I do with my sheet, so I don't know if you can help me out. So I know this is Cheney White over here I don't playing. Know, I don't know his buddy. I don't either. <laughs> hmm. Well, I had it somewhere, but all right, so we're just going to change this over to. Wow, what a shot. What a shot there. Cheney White is on, he is on uh, Gall's team. All right, so. White and, do you know what his last name is? The other guy that's playing with Cheney? Guess we'll have to wait till he turns around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we know that. You're about to get it right here. Yeah, all right, perfect. Turn around. All right, we got Hess and um, Memberg. Our plant. Burns. All right, we got Burns. White and Burns. All right, I think we are good to go now. Derek Owens. When is Colston playing? Colst or uh, Derek? Do you uh, do you know what team Colston is on? Oh wait, hold on. He's, 
He's, He's a- actually next for table two doubles. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, so Coles. All right, so Derek Owens, uh, we're looking somewhere down in here. See, it's six thousand dollars worth of cues stolen. Jeez, I'm so sorry. All right, <clears throat> so that gives Bryson a four to one lead. Still on game one over here with Hess and Memberg and White and Burns playing. So you, when do you play next? Me? Yeah. Um, the next singles on table two. Next singles. The next singles on table two. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you got uh, so braces, braces playing now. Brazen. Okay. Then there's a scotch doubles, and then you're up after that. <coughs> so containing shot there by Hess. That should uh, just, might have leaked out. Just leaked out a little bit. Oh. Well, holy cow! Look at that one. Stuck in the pocket. <laughs> you don't see that too often. <laughs> no, you don't. I think they have these. Uh, I didn't go down and look. Are these four and a quarter? Or are they four and a half? Do you know? I think they're. I think they're four and a. They're playing like four and a half. Are they okay? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because I was kind of looking at the two balls in the pocket there. It yeah. almost looks like four and a quarter the way that they're fitting in there, but I, we don't have an overhead view, so I can't really tell if. There's a gap between them, but we're talking about as far as the the width if of the pockets. If they are four and a quarter, then they play very loose because of the cloth. <laughs> because they're, I feel like they're playing big, though. Are they? Yeah. <clears throat> that was a very nice oh. shot. Yeah, there's a gap in there, yeah. Yeah, there is a gap, yeah. That was a nice shot by Cheney to get on that six ball for Mr. Burns there. So he doesn't look, the way he looked at that seven ball, it doesn't look like it's got a full pocket past the nine. So he's probably going to try to float down for the seven inside, but he wants to make sure he gets down below that seven and not leave an angle towards the eight. <clears throat> he might try and draw on this side of the, uh, go down to the bottom rail maybe. And come between the yeah. seven and eight, you mean? Like up by this side pocket on this side. Uh, yeah, I think he was. Do, I think he was trying that to come, but I tell you what, he ended up okay. Cheney can just cut this in the side. He'd rather cut it in the side because if he actually takes it in the corner, lose the cue ball a little bit yep. there. There's a couple different ways he could put some inside English on this, try to hold it, or he could actually put a lot of left on this, come to the the short rail down here, spin to the long rail, and come back out. <clears throat> what would you do? I would probably just play like top English, go to the bottom rail, and come back to the Straight center. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That looks like that. He's putting a little bit inside English there with some top on, just like you're talking about. Come straight down. Perfect. Left him a great angle. He would have liked to get a little closer to his work. Well, actually, it's Burns' work. <laughs> get him a little closer <laughs> for his work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he left a perfect angle for it. 
Earthquake. David over there <clears throat> with a chance to try to keep Bryson from not winning a point. Pretty open table. Oh, oh wow. Very nice, very nice. You see how that one slid did, in a did, little bit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did he call did he call the uh, bank on that? <laughs> <laughs> Cheney for the win. All right, that's going to give Team Gall a 1-0 lead. Dennis Swift, 3x6, Case, Woody, Woodworth, Q, Steve Lomax, break Q, Steve Lomax. Wow, that's, that's horrible, man. I heard those Steve Lomax breaks and jump cues are hit really, really well. I've never had an opportunity to try one, but everyone that says that they've tried them, they said they're absolutely phenomenal. Have you ever had a chance to meet I have not, but I know it's uh, um, Aren't those cues like pricey? Yeah, like yeah. like a Southwest. You ever heard of yeah, Southwest? No, yeah, those oh, are ridiculous. Ridiculously priced. I got a buddy of mine that actually has one back in Wisconsin. Oh, wow. Oh, you're in from Wisconsin. Yeah. So you've been new. You definitely knew about the pro tournament. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So that's I actually, why you were so. Yes. Okay. I actually started a committee in Wisconsin four years ago. Okay. I got a bunch of the pool hall owners and tournament directors in the uh -huh. area because we wanted to improve the BCA state tournament, BCA okay. PL state tournament. So I called up Ozzy. I said, "Hey, can I put some people together and can we try to improve this tournament?" He's like, absolutely, I'd love to. So we actually are the ones that brought the round robin to him as an idea. Oh, okay. We instituted it in Wisconsin as the very first tournament to do a round robin, uh -huh. the whole yeah. uh, the group the group play, and then they brought it to nationals this year. So Awesome. That is yeah. awesome. <clears throat> but, yeah, that, that's why I know about – because we just had a meeting with Ozzy. Because Ozzy Reynolds, is, that was a great shot by David. Uh, Ozzy Reynolds, obviously, is the owner Bryson. of CSI. And uh, so we had a meeting with him last week, and he said, yeah, well, I'm sure you guys are aware that we're not having the Predator Pro Series at uh, Wisconsin this year. So I think they're working on getting something back. But because of the whole WPA. Yes, Let's go. Very nice. Oh, I'm sorry. That was that I'm was. I'm just gonna go give him a fist bump right there. Okay. Hey, yeah, no, no, no problem. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Are you gonna Are you gonna come back? You can just go hang out. Do you want me to give someone else? I'll tell you what. Hey, thanks for thanks for stopping in. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring some of it. But thanks for stopping in. We appreciate your time, man. Thank you, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Say that again. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> All right. Good luck, man. All right. You want to come on in? Sure. Uh, I think you put the score on the wrong person. I did it. You know what? Are you talking about for Bryson? Huh? For Bryson, you mean? No. Did it? Oh, yeah, I did. Gallant. Yeah, I did. You are absolutely correct. All right. So he's going he's gonna to sit in here. <clears throat> All right. So I put the... Hey, can you show him, show him what to do over there? There you go. Even closer. Yeah, you got to just have your... Listen. See kind of like where I'm at right here? So, yeah. There yeah. you go. Perfect. All right. Why don't you introduce yourself? My name's Dakota Bryant. Dakota Bryant. All right. So you got that southern accent. So you're from the south. Where are you from? Actually, I'm from I'm from Georgia, out of Cartersville. Ah. Well, how far away is that from here? Uh, I think it's like 42 minutes, 46, something like so that. So you got an easy ride home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe and I got 12 and a half hours to get home. So. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, we're coming from Wisconsin. <laughs> That, that's a rod right there. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Wow, look at that. That was a very nice shot. <clears throat> All right, so 
As Dakota came up here, he came up and slapped me in the back of the head and said, hey, dummy, you put the wrong score on the wrong table over there. So <laughs> I appreciate him telling me uh, that I was completely wrong. And I, I, yeah. All right. So, but actually, so Bryson, did Bryson, Bryson won over here, right? Oh, yeah. All right. So, all right. I apologize. I got to do a little bit of, uh, so we're going to give them. Oh, so Bryson won, so they have now three points towards their overall score. And I gotta get the update for Yeah, hmm. Landon Landon Hollingsworth team. That that's a that's a really good team. They're all strong players. They come out here and play their heart out every time. Absolutely. Uh last year, if I'm not wrong, I believe, uh they came second place. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right? They had a few different players because uh, Landon actually was up here, you know, uh, Savannah Easton was here last year. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they did. It. They definitely had a strong team last year too, and it seemed like they come swinging out of the gates here today. So, yes, they definitely do. They definitely did. Um, whenever I played in the juniors tournament in Salem, North Carolina, I had to draw him first. And oh, did you really? I was shooting first. I went hill, hill, and then he just like I played a safety and he jumped it in and ran out, and I was like, goodness! Did I he said, really? I said, who is this guy? Wow. All right, so they've so up right now is. For Team Hollingsworth is Colston Harrelson. Is that Har Harrison? Harrelson. Harrelson. Yeah. And I can't read that. All right. So, do you know? Uh, so, how does that? Is it H? H A R R. R R. E L S O N. Perfect. You're hired. And, and then, then uh, Barry. Barry's the last name. Yeah, of the, yep. it's M Merrick Barry. All right, we're just going to put the last names. And oh, then, okay. so who's uh, Makani? Who's playing for Makani? Uh, Blake Johnson and Vincent, Jose Vincent. Vincent? Yes, sir. Perfect. Thank v -I -C -E -N -T -E. you, sir. V-I-C-E-N-T-E. Oh, E-N-T-E. Oh, oh, yeah, Jose. Yeah. yeah. Vicente. Oh, Vicente. Vicente, My fault. yeah. Sorry about that. No, I, I didn't actually look up to see who it was or I would have known who you were talking about. Okay, so. Johnson and Vicente. That, that's a strong team. Yes, it is. I tell you. Johnson was over there with me on the bar box a minute ago, and he was like, I don't think I've hit 10 balls the whole time I've been here. Really? He really? was like, he was like, if I can get in stroke, he said, I think I might be able to do something on these big tables. <laughs> <laughs> and it's different. But a big table to a bar box, it's, it's different. you got to let your stroke out for sure. Yeah. All right, so he tried to go for that 1-9. But he didn't make it, but he definitely – oh, did that one ball leak out? Uh, Looked like it might have leaked out. Uh, yeah, it did. He, he, can, he can make the whole ball. So Barry, is who is actually up at the table right now, him and uh, Jose were here when we got here to the, yesterday. And they both were going back and forth against each other. And I tell you what, they, yeah, I, all you guys, all you guys and girls here, I tell you what, it's definitely apparent nice that shot. you, that was a beautiful shot. Man, that, them two kids right there have, have good strokes. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really want to put the bad juju on them, but they're shooting really good. Yeah. Chaney was here last year. Yeah. He was and, on Hollingsworth uh, last year. Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. That was a very good time. That was fun. Just like this year. Do you like in this tournament so far? I'm loving it. It's, That's it's awesome. amazing. Oh, good out. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Tracy Lerma from uh, Inside Pool Magazine, uh, I know she's a senior writer there, but her and Eddie, uh, actually it was Tracy that came up with the idea because she had talked to a few juniors. juniors. And she had an idea, and she called up Eddie and said, hey, do you want to help me with this idea? And he said, absolutely. <clears throat> and they put this event together first year, last year. And I tell you what, there's nothing better than supporting you, you juniors, man. It's, it's know, absolutely um, amazing. And we're all thankful for the opportunities we get to get doing all this junior stuff. You know, there's yes, like, there, if it like wasn't for a few people out here, there, would, there really wouldn't be no opportunity that we would have. Yep, I agree. 100%. And it's people like that that will help you guys get to that next level. And it's awesome to see. Yeah, um, so, I came here and played in a juniors tournament a while ago, like two years ago maybe, a year. It was like a year and a half. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Derek? Yeah, I just Derek, say so what's in. up, Dakota? 
<laughs> but um, the guy that's racking, I done forgot his name, but um, he uh, Scott, the guy that's racking, yes, Scott. Scott. Yep. Yeah, um, he was here, and um, yep. I think Blake Johnson was here, Colston was mm-hmm. here, uh, Jacob Branham was here, um, and a few other people. And I don't know, was Colston here last yeah. year? No. <clears throat> oh, oh, t- you're talking no. about yesterday? No, no, no. Last like two years ago. Oh, two years ago. Yeah, they had like a tournament here to qualify oh. for these or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Oh, nice bank shot. Uh, I don't know if he got. Uh, yeah, the kids are definitely playing really strong. All you, all you guys are playing. Guys and girls are playing really strong. It's awesome to see. Yeah, um, the my first two matches, I I, got, I had the jitters. Like I, I, I was a little warm faced, <laughs> a little tangly around my arms and stuff when I was shooting the first time. And he was, um, I played that kid right there. With the jacket on with the S and D. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot his name. Um, yeah, I don't But know. I played him, and, like, uh, my first game I played him, I missed a few easy shots. Well, Did not you? really easy shots, but, like, shots I could have really made. Mm-hmm. And I, I was just, like, was really jitterish. So I it got me a water, and I just, like, slowed down a little bit, took a few deep breaths, and started to get back in stroke and ran out the rest of the rack after he missed. I think it was on, like, the seven ball or no, yeah. six ball. And I ran out from there, and I started feeling better. So after that, nice. what a shot! What a shot! I don't know if he, I don't know if he planned that. I don't know if he's trying to play a safe. Did did he call it? Or I know you don't have to call it, but I don't know if he was planning to make that shot. I think he was trying to play a safe. But hey, as long as uh, as long as he left him, I think his, he was. Was he? The cue good? ball's behind the seven ball. Yeah, yeah. That's how I thought he was trying to play a safe. So, so how long have you been playing pool? Uh, I've been playing for about going on two years. Ju- uh, June will be two years. Really, two years. Yes, good. sir. Good for you. Good for you. So, who's been your coach? Um, I've had a few. Like, um, I used to go up to Johnny Archer's place in oh, yeah. Cartersville mm-hmm. before it like had got closed down. Right. And he helped me a little bit. Uh, a few other guys, like uh, a guy named Jimmy Chanel, um, Marcus wow. Byram. What a shot! Wow. That was a great shot. It really was. That kid, that kid plays really strong. Yes, he oh, does. Oh, look at that bank. Nice one. Yeah, she. Skylar Hess plays. She's been she's been playing heads on. Yep. She did leave a shot on the four ball. I mean, it's not that easy, but it's a shot. Yeah, I'm so short I can't even see over <laughs> the thing right here. <laughs> well, it's hard because of where the wow. What wow. a cut! What a oh, cut! Oh no, he just didn't want to have that happen though. That's, that kind of messed things up down there, but I think they're gonna get it out right here. They're gonna play up for the six, and I, if I'm not wrong, they're gonna try to play the safe on the seven ball. Yeah, it's just play the thin or whatever they want to do. Yep. Now he could, if he could, if he puts a good stroke on this. Oh man, that looks almost straight, doesn't? No, oh, he's got an angle on it. He could actually put a lot of top on this and come two two if rails, possibly three rails in between. He's going to play the bottom right and come off that rail and sling up, if I'm not quite wrong. I think I think he's looking to try to get where he pointed his cue just so that a save. good save can be played. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, is he playing top? Yeah, he's putting top on. Come two rails. Yep, just like that. And now she can actually play. The safety. The safety. And cool. just freeze them to the eight ball. Yep. Yes, sir. But they might play the nine. Oh, uh, no. Nope. Look, she, just like the safety. Yep. Uh, I think she let it leak a little bit, if I'm not quite sure. Well, here's the thing. I think she would have liked to get that seven on the other side of the eight. You know what I mean? Because yep. now he could actually come off the short rail down here. And just stand the seven. Yeah. And get him right behind the eight ball. But... Oh, he's going to play the nine ball. Well, I think he's looking at if he comes off the rail. Is I don't think I don't think she froze him on the. Nope, she did not freeze no, him. No, if that. I'm not wrong, yeah, he yeah. can cut the seven ball. You think so? You think but he can? From, from it's, the it's, way it looks right there, I think you can. I, it's so hard to tell off the screen because it's so deceiving. Like, yeah, so it was. So he did hey. come off the rail. He did get a good hit, but he wanted to try to freeze that seven ball down there. Yeah. 
This hit a little bit too hard. I don't see why the Col uh, Colston didn't just play off the rail and bring him down on the bottom side. Yeah, hey, I didn't see that shot. He, so. he had the shot to do Did it, he? so yeah. You know, one thing I've learned through doing streaming for uh, about three years now, four years now, it's so much easier sitting up here in the booth. Yeah. I, ne I never miss a shot. You know that? <laughs> oh, he, mi he missed that seven oh. ball. Wow. It ain't. They might not like this shot, the safety shot guy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Very nicely done. Did he bank it or did he cut it? I don't know. I just, you know, he cut it. I saw, I saw it going in. So I didn't see. Yeah. But I just happened to look over and see, and I saw it dropping in. Yeah. So we're going to give them one. So they're up one. To, I think he, is he trying to cut this, or is he playing a safe? I would play a safe. I'd stick up safe. Yeah, I don't see why you just don't thin the seven and put it behind the nine and leave the cue ball on the opposite side of the yeah, table. Yeah, absolutely. Or freeze the cue ball to the nine ball. Here's the thing. If you do cut this ball. The it's, eight nine is gonna be difficult. It's hard to it's hard to get good shape on this. I just, if I'm not wrong, I just think he's a little bit worried about the scratch on this shot when he's playing the cut. Is he trying to bank it? Oh. Oh, what a shot! Well, he got away with it. No, I think he was playing the thin. If I'm not wrong. No, he was trying to make it. Oh, he was. Oh yeah, oh. you can tell. You can tell by the way he shook his head. Yeah. It, he was definitely trying to make it, but he way, way over overcut that. Now, I see a safe coming here. Oh, definitely. From her? Who would it be? Oh, oh, yeah, she's not happy with that because she wanted to definitely get that cue ball behind the 8 and 9. Yeah. Yeah, she. Uh, as soon as she got up, she just looked. You know, I've, happy I've heard that Colston, because, um, like, I, I met him here a while back, and we've played a good little bit. Uh-huh. Um, we, um like... I've I've heard that he's been playing like a lot better. Like he's been, Has he? yeah, he's been getting on the roll a lot. You know. If I'm not wrong, I'd just play the cross bank on the seven right here and just play it thick to where it'd come down on the bottom rail and just bring the cue ball two rails up behind the nine ball. Well, a little bit of inside spin. Well, here's here's the thing. I mean, it depends if you want to be aggressive or not. He's got the perfect angle to actually make the shot and bring the cue ball to the other side of the table. And if you if you get straight on that eight nine, it that's I'm looking straight down it. It's not a tough it's not a tough combination. Hey, he's cutting it in. Oh, oh, look at this. Is he gonna get? Is he gonna get it? Oh, I thought he was gonna. Yeah. Get fortunate and get behind him. Man, that, that stroke right there, it that thing was straight. Yeah. It's, yeah, I guess if it was pretty straight, that's it's a tougher shot to, to get over. And I think he was trying to cheat the pocket a little bit. See, right here, he's just going to cut it and come out for her. Yep. Like that right there now. And he left her in perfect, perfect shape. Yeah. she She's got a good stroke. I played her up in Salem, North Carolina. Did you? Yeah. Well, they definitely need this game to get that first win under their belt here to not go down three to zero. So this, not going to commentate her. Oh, oh no. Okay, I commentator cursed her. I apologize. Well, yeah. I, did, I didn't say she was definitely going to make it. That's a commentator yeah. curse. You say stuff like that. and then they, <laughs> So that's unfortunate. And so I know she's, it, it's she's a race happy. to five, correct? Yes, sir. Race okay. to five. So they're up two to zero right now. Wait. They got the stroke to take this one to the house, I believe. I hope so. I tell you, see, Burns is putting bottom. Up. I would actually put middle and come. I think back he's just stunning it. See, I look how he got away with that ball. He got away time. with it, but see, on that one, I would actually just hit center and come back across the table a couple of times. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's all, it's all about what you feel comfortable with. So. Yeah, and I mean, you never know. He could play that shot like that every time and mm -hmm. not get away with it as good as he just did. All right. He can roll way too far. He can freeze it up on it. You never know. All right. That gives them a 3-0 to zero lead. Yeah, I'm the next uh, singles match against Zach, uh, Zach, I mean, Jackson Schultz. Oh, Jackson was just up in the booth here. Jackson was here last year. That, that, that little kid cracked me up last year. <laughs> <laughs> that little kid right there can play. Yes, and, he can. He's you, you should really see his brother. His, his, uh, I don't know if you watched any of last year, but 
last year his emotions and uh, some of the the faces he made when he was playing just cracked hey, me you go up. like this you go yeah <laughs> yes he does yeah <laughs> You know, uh, he played over in Iron City not too long ago and got like seventh or eighth. Did he, he really? Yeah, he ended up getting a, a little bit of dollars back. Nice. Good for him. All right, what do we got going on table two over there? One, two, three, four, five. Mm. So it looks like he did leave that four ball available for Mr. Johnson there, whether he wants to take it on or not. If I'm not wrong, he might play the safe and just play two rails and put the four behind the six or put the cue ball on the six. But he has such a big pocket, why not play it? Yeah, and he does have a small window between the six and the nine that if he he does slow roll this, he can get a shot on the five. But the problem is after you, if you do get a shot on the five, it's such a thin cut, you have to hit it so hard. What are you going to get on the six? You're just going to cut the ball and let the nine handle the business. Oh, wow. Oh, God. How good did he hit that ball? I don't know if he was planning on, do you think he was planning on going off the eight ball? Oh, I thought he was just going to try to go straight through the gap right yeah. there. He had the A gap, but uh, his teammate, he, oh yeah. he's, he's. Made a nice combination combination there. To, now he's a little, he left him a little straight on this. I think. Just draw straight back on this, get it to the, get it to the long rail, come out a little bit. And leave it, leave an angle on the seven, just like that. Exactly. Perfect. Now, That's if I'm not wrong, his teammate's just going to play a little bit below center and just stun it over. He yep. might just play top, yeah, a little bit below center. Yep, and he'd like for it to not get straight on the eight. Oh, he got straight. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Yeah. That's well, Johnson has the – no, they have enough angle to where he can just play the bottom spin and he'll drag it up to about the third diamond before the side pocket. Yeah, You'll leave, leave what uh, the table gives you at this point. Don't try to do anything yeah. – Anything special because then that's when things get out of hand, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah Look at that. I think he got a four reeler off. Almost. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, just like you were talking about. Give that little bit of bottom bottom left spin. Give him a shot. Out to third, oh, yeah. oh, he missed the eight. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't see it. I, was, I wasn't looking at the screen. I was actually looking at the table. I was looking at the cue ball where the cue ball was going. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, this kid's going to try to play the bank from where he's measuring it up. But I was thinking he was just going to play the thin on the right side of the eight, you know. Oh, he might thin the left side of it right here. No, he tried it. He made it. Yeah, but here's, here's the problem. Here's the problem is I don't mind the aggressiveness, but – Going that way with it, I knew he wasn't going to get a good leave on the nine ball. If I'm not wrong, the Colson kid's probably going to try to cut it in. Or yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to cut. That's a tough cut. I think he'd be better off trying to bank it, if anything. And no, he, he might cut that ball. I've seen him. He cut it in the uh, JIC. And, did he um, really? Yeah, Renault, Virginia, I think. Really? Yeah. Jackson was awesome. He sounded like he was extremely tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure uh, I'm Sure, a lot of these kids are extremely tired. He's banking that ball. Yep. I, I'll try to play the safety. Just hit the nine and bring it to the side rail, leave the other team with a bank shot. Yeah. But Blake, he can bank, and so can that other kid. Yeah, I saw him do like two uh, two good banks right really? there and just nailed them straight center pocket. Yeah, he came up short on that one. Oh, did he get away with it? No. 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 Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. <clears throat> well, I tell you, this is not, it's not a routine easy shot. It can be made, but you have to be real careful of the scratch. On this oh, one. yeah. You, if you play with outside spin, you can scratch in the side or you can go two rails. But if you just play with top, it comes straight down in the corner pocket. Yep. It likes being your friend on that. Just like just that like right there. That. That's what I said. Careful of the scratch. Well, I think we jinxed him. No, I don't think we jinxed them. We just <laughs> we just pointed out that there's a possibility of a scratch. Yeah. That's unfortunate. All right, so that is going to give, well, I mean, technically, technically the ball is, the nine ball is supposed to be spotted. And yeah. And you're supposed to shoot it in. So they're going to follow those rules. And... Let 
Make him shoot it in. Yes, sir. And that is going to... Oh, if you do you want to bring it up a little bit? Yeah. I'll the arm... Uh, hey, Joe, show them how to bring the arm up a little bit. No, I should be good right here now. Yeah, I just did uh, that. Well, you, yeah. Or the, the one up top, you can do the one up top. All right, so that's going to give Harrelson and Barry a 2-0 to zero lead. I can see the table a little bit better like this right here. Oh, you're going to stand, stand up so you can see the yeah. table? <laughs> I, can, I can see a little bit right here. Yeah, the, the way this is kind of set up, I, I'd l Ooh. I'll tell you what, that was... Uh-oh, he doesn't want to make it. Oh, oh my God. no. Why he, not just put the eight on the seven right here and just he, let him go around? He played that shot so well to get it. It was kind of a... Uh, yeah, he wasn't trying to make that ball even in the side. He he was more or less trying to get that cue ball down where he got it. And he got it there, but unfortunately the Z-Bank was in play and he made it. And with nine ball, it counts. you have to shoot again. Yep. Now, even in ten ball, if he didn't if he didn't call it, he was still shooting again because your opponent has the, the, right. the right to uh, yeah. make you shoot it again. Well, I tell you, Jose's got a huge break. Yeah, that kid right there is just dangerous. Huge break. Yeah. Did he hit it? Oh, right oh. in the side. Mm. Man. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Played a great safe only to make the ball. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, though. See, I don't mind him, like you were talking about, push the eight into the seven. Actually, I like not pushing it in there. Because now the seven and eight combo really does not go at all. So they're going to have to break it out. They're going to have to play some sort of safe or carry well, them off the seven yeah, to make the eight. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. You know? But with that seven ball being so close, that's not an easy shot. No, not at all. But I think Skyler can make something happen right here. If I'm not wrong, she's just going to try to stun it over a little bit. For the five and the yeah, side? Yeah, the side. Yep. And then do for the six, and he's just going to stun over for the six ball and where he can put top spin. Well, I really can't see her angle too well from right here. Yeah, it's tough to see it on the screen. She's got the – she's got a good – ooh. Why top there? Huh. Well, she, she figured to bring it around for that five ball, which not a bad shot. So what events you got coming up here besides this one? <laughs> uh, really, I really haven't, like, I really haven't been playing that much. Like, I play league on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Do you? Are you in uh, a, what kind of league are you Tap. in? Tap. Tap? Okay. Yes, sir. What rules do they, so I've, no, uh, I've heard of it before. Call, but uh, call ball in pocket. Okay. Yeah. What's your Fargo? Uh. My Fargo is really not too accurate right now, but um, I think I have like 187 Robustus mm -hmm. or 167 or something like that, and I'm a 507 or nice. 508 now. Nice. Look at this shot. Oh, my. What a oh. shot. Oh, she didn't clear it enough. Uh, she didn't, it didn't clear enough. Almost. That seven ball will she not might, go past the eight. They, they might play it off the eight now. You shoot it straight into the rail right there with top spin. I don't, yeah, but I don't think uh, I think it's gonna hit too much of the eight, unfortunately. Maybe. So I'm looking straight down the rail here, and yeah, she needed another, literally only about a quarter of an inch for it to go past. Yeah, he's gonna try to play it off of it. <sighs> you know, that's not a safe shot in this. No, I've I've tried that shot many times, and unfortunately, you have to hit the rail and the eight at the same time for exactly. it to go straight. You know what I mean? And that's so tough to do. Not, not that it can't be done. So Derek Owens says, yeah, he breaks solid for sure. Absolutely. He's got a huge, huge he, break. He tried to play the safe there, and it leaked out just enough. Tara Jackson said, Dakota Bryant? Yeah, yeah, that's me. So you know Tara Jackson? I have no idea who that is. Tara Jackson, yes, Dakota Bryant is in the booth with me. Do you know him? I don't think I See, know her. This is this is why that shot was tough. 
Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. It leaked mm -hmm. out just enough. For yep. oh, oh, he wanted to hit that a little harder. Well, let's it, see what the stroke looks like on um, Burns. Burns. Yeah, th this can still be done, but unfortunately, he, he would have liked to hit that just a little harder to get in the middle of the table because then they could have come off the long rail and come back up beyond that side pocket there. He, he likes using bottom on everything. I'm not sure. He's got to be careful of the scratch in the side pocket. Scratch not this in guy. the side pocket. Not, well, I tell you, not, not this guy. I tell you, that, 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 he got away with it, but that was very, very close. Yeah, he, he had me nervous a little bit. <laughs> um. I'm playing with uh, Jay Gal um, in the doubles right after my. So oh, are you? Yeah. All oh, oh, right, right after this one, right? No, right after the. Yeah, I'm next after this one yeah, for yeah. the solo, and then after that. You're you're playing. Good out. Are you playing this? You're playing the singles one or not? Yeah, I'm playing the singles okay, next. Next, like, okay. Yeah, I don't think I, I lost your – I don't know where your score sheet went. I had it up here, and I don't know where it went. So, um. Do do you want me – oh, my teammate might actually have it if I'm not wrong. Oh, really? Do you want me to go over there and look really quickly and come right back, or do you just want me to wait till this game's over? Yeah, you know, we'll just wait till this game. We'll keep you in the booth here for this game here, and uh, or this – once they're done. <clears throat> actually, you know what? Well, since you're playing next – should probably give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of time to get your get your thoughts together. So if you want to go over there and uh, and check with them and see if I can get a copy of that, that'd be awesome. And, All right, uh, um, I'm gonna go see what's up. I'm gonna go use the restroom. I just want to thank everyone right. for joining us on the live and letting well, me come up here and talk today on the well, booth. Thank you for coming up and, and spending some time with us. We certainly appreciate. It. Good luck with your match next. And uh, yeah, if you can give me that score sheet, that'd be great. All right, I'm gonna go over here and look for you. Thanks, man. All right, thank y'all. All righty. Three of them down, to, and we got several more to go. And now we got uh, Mr. Wonderful Joe, the Italian Stallion Vermiglio, coming back up in the booth here. Oh, hello, everybody again. What up, Joe? I was just out in the crowd. Oh, were meeting you? some people, yeah. Nice. Nice place here, though. I think... We got to check that camera. I think that tape is down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's okay for you to see how it's kind of oh, yeah. tilting a little bit. Yeah. So Derek Owen says, good luck, Dakota. He's up next playing a singles match here on table number one. It's a nice kid. Oh, yeah. Pretty knowledgeable Ooh. about the game, too. Well, he might have gotten away. Oh, no, that leaked out. The one ball can't be made. But they can see the one ball, so. Table two over here. We got uh, Jose up at the table. He had two bad breaks on scratches. Yeah, you see I that? know. Yes. Made some nice shots. Look at that stroke. Uh, he oh, no, no, no. <sighs> oh, my. Again, just he literally just carried off that five ball just a little bit yep. to direct it into that. Side pocket. That's unfortunate. Well, some days you just don't get the breaks, right? Uh, I tell you what, out of nationals, man, our team, uh, the team we went out and played with. Oh, 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 oh we almost made it. Ooh. Oh. Oh, shoot, I forgot. For I the win. What did Mr. It? Barry just knocked that one down. Oh, so he took a 1-9 yeah, combo? Yeah, 2-9. Or, I'm sorry, 2-9 combo. Nine combo. Yeah. All right, so that's going to give them a 3-0 lead. And Jose is on the break. All right, I got to quick make a phone call that I got two calls from an individual and ask me to call them back. So I'm just going to quick do that. So if you can entertain our fine folks that are watching. Why don't we grab another it. kid? Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll do that. It's four. It's four. Four? Oh, okay. Four, four zero. All righty. We're going to put one more youth up here on the... All right. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so I'll have him sit over here, yep. and uh, we'll get... Uh, We'll get him going, so I'll be back here in just a minute. All 
You'll hear it on the earphones. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I can hear it. Can you hear me? Can yeah. you hear me now? Yeah, I can. Your first name? Hayden. Hayden. Hayden, I'm Joe. How you doing, buddy? Good. So, so far, are you having fun? Yeah, a lot yep. of fun. Yep. I was talking to your dad before. You said you, you guys have been traveling a little bit, huh? Yeah, we went to uh, Virginia last week, and um, or not last week, last month. And when before that, we went to Austria. How was that trip? That was an invite only, right? Uh, you had to qualify. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a really nice trip. How'd you do out there? Yeah, I didn't do great. I I went two and out, but I played two pretty tough opponents. I lost to the guy that won the whole thing. Oh, really? Yeah. So, the, give us a little bit about you. Where are you from? Where do you play? Um, Age? I'm, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I play at Rail Yard down there, uh, downtown Louisville. One of the best pool halls in the country. And um, I'm 12 years old. Good for... And what kind of stick do you play with? Uh, Q-Tech. Q-Tech? Yeah. Same break stick? Uh, yeah. Yep. Sponsored by Q-Tech, too. How long have you been playing? Four years, four and a half years, something like that. What got you into pool, Dad? Uh, I pretty much have a table at my mom's, my dad's, and my grandma's, and my wow. grandpa's. Like, pretty much everywhere. Well, they've always had one, and I, one day I just I asked them, what is this? And they taught me, my grandpa taught me how to play. Oh, really? Yeah. Is Grandpa here today? Yeah. He's uh, running around someplace. Well, this has got to be Grandma right here in the pink shirt, right? Yeah, that's yep. Grandma. Okay. I figured that because she was up here taking a picture of you in the booth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah making, making Grandma proud, right? Yeah, my dad's right there. Yep, I met him before. Chad? Yeah. Yeah, nice guy. So what's your Fargo, bud? Uh, 639. Two. you're up there. Yeah. I have like a 1,000-something robustness. Wow. Played a lot of games already. Yeah. Where's your next uh, tournament? Uh, we're going to the break time uh, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina next weekend. Oh, wow. You guys travel quite a bit then, eh? Uh, yeah, we do. We're going after that, a few weeks after that, we're going to uh, Philadelphia for the Super Billiard Dex Ball. Is it all for you or does mom and dad play too? Uh, no, my dad and my grandpa play some, but it's mostly me. Not competitively like you? No. Oh, good. Otherwise, you guys would be all over the place, eh? Yeah. Oh, stop. Oh, man, oh. that table is just bad for scratch. That's like the fifth scratch already for, not that, just that team, just the, that table. It yeah. rolls a little bit but more than this one. Yeah, it, it definitely rolls a lot. Have you played on table one yet? I practiced on it yesterday, but I haven't, like, played on it. I uh, I only practiced on table one yesterday, but I've, I've played twice on table two. I played the team match, which uh, I won both my racks, and then the I played doubles with Landon, and we won five to one. Wow. Yeah, I was watching that over there. I was... Impressed with your guys' play. Thanks. Yeah, I think we're up three to one and four to zero in the match over there, but um, the other team's running out right now, though. So, how many of these guys do you know, or how many do you play with? Just your teammates, or any of these other kids? I've played with pretty much all of them. I played with Cheney. Uh, I've, I've played with Skyler. I've played. Uh, I played with Eddie and Payne. I played with Blake. I played with Jose. I played with Jazz. Um, and then I played with everybody on my team except for Merrick. Wow. Yes, Dusty, we got that. Thanks, bud. We're uh, kind of falling behind here sometimes yeah. with the scores. So Not we'll keep fine. you updated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are 4 0 on table two. You're playing next 
Um, no. Next up is Landon Hollingsworth versus Jazz McCani singles. And then, I don't know, we haven't determined what's after that yet. We're going to see what the score is, and Landon's going to make his picks. Oh. Ooh. Jose missed. Ooh. Ooh, he didn't leave it. It's Wasn't, not a bad Yeah, leave. not real bad, but. Does the eight go? I can't tell. It looks like if maybe you could cheat the pocket a little bit, but I don't know on these pockets. It's tight. Merrick's looking at it. Yeah, it's super tight. What would you do here? If the eight goes, I would shoot it. If it didn't go, I would probably try to shoot the combo because there, it's you can't really play safe here. No. There's not a bank either. The only way I think you could is if you could manipulate that eight ball on the other side of the nine, hit it off this cushion, and leave the cue stuck to the nine, but that's a tough shot. Yeah, I think... Well, these pockets, they're playing pretty forgiving. Oh, wow. Yes. Nice shot. Oh. Nice shot. Come on, Merrick. Close us out. There it is. Let's go. Sweet. We're up uh, four to zero. I mean, four to one in match count. So they won that one? Yep. That one's done. Uh, next up for that one, I think, is... Landon Hollingsworth and Jazz McConney. Singles? Yeah. Two team captains going at it. Oh, that should be good. Should be a good match, eh? Yeah. And then after that, I think they'll go to the break. All right. What's uh, what's the score with table one? Four to four to one. Yeah, four one. Gall. Yeah, it looks like Hess is running out though. Whew. Ooh, just when you say that. Yeah. <laughs> Gave us a little scare. Yeah. Like Land and Jazz are getting ready to lag. Oh. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Unfortunate. That's tough. Yeah, it's sometimes it, when you're trying to get across the table like that, you're so focused on where you get the cue ball, you take your eye off the ball. Yep. He's popped right back. He popped up real fast. Yeah, you got to stay down on those. Those can't be. Those those aren't gimmies. Looks like Hollings were. Ooh, took a bounce at the end. Who's breaking over there? Uh, Jazz. Oh, Connie. Ooh, nice stroke by Cheney there. Yeah, I that like him straight in on it. the nine. Yeah, that should do it. Yep. So, Mr. Burns finished that one. I think Team Gall was up three to zero, aren't they? No, that was... No, like uh, the. Total. Oh yeah, yeah. So that one's done. Yeah, that one's done. I don't know who they have up next. I think it's a singles. Yeah. Looks like it's Jackson Schultz, and I don't know a kid's name. 
I got to talk to Jackson. He was up here before. I've watched him play, but I, I've never played against him or with him. No. How about Mr. Bryant? You played him yet or no? No. I, he, I think he was at my home pool room down at Rail Yard for the junior all around last year. But I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever played him. Let's see, Landon. Looks like he has a good out. Oh, wow. What a stroke. Nice stroke. Actually, overhead it a little bit. He Just might have to little. play the carom. I think that should be all right, though. Don't you think you should piss? Just skip it off the four ball, the two, or you can hit it straight in. Uh, I, think it, I think it might go on the side. Nice and soft. Set yeah. up for the three. Yep. Right off the four, yep. Should be. Should be out. Yeah. The way the pattern is. You can see the three. Play the four. Five on the side. Down on the six. Six to the seven will be his hardest challenge, but it's still not too tough. Looks like... Oh, he's got a nice stroke. Yeah, Landon's got a really powerful and smooth and... Uh, I wouldn't say mechanical, but it's not, like, the most fluid stroke. It's kind of in between. Yeah. Looks like he's pretty focused, too. Yeah. Well, he wants it really bad. To, to repeat, right? No, he lost last year in the finals. Oh, team, he, team, team has, has won. won it. Okay, he's out. Oh. You guys got a pretty strong team. Yeah. Merrick played great last game, last yeah. match. Okay, let's see how he does this. You think a little bit uh, top right, come back around? I think he's probably going to draw it. Draw it? Yeah. He may put a touch of left, but it's going to be mostly bottom. Play it down in that right pocket. Yeah. And he should be able to get on the eight and go up one to zero. Yeah, it looks like he's drawing. Yep. Nice shot. Hit it perfectly. Look at Had that. To watch the scratch there. All right, here's one that's going to get. We're going to have to get her down here for the eight ball. Looks like Jackson has a ball in hand. Ooh, it's a cue ball. Uh, Gage. Stop. I played earlier, but he'll be playing again. Colston will be playing. Our hope is to only have two more matches after this one. Hollingsworth for the win. Yep. 1-0. One 1-0. -oh. One -oh. There we go. First one down. Oh. That's tough for Jackson. That's a tough shot. You oh. gotta. You can't worry so much about the power there. You just got to really smooth it out. Yeah. Just make sure your stroke is pure. I think he might have hit it a little too hard, too. Yeah. I think Dakota is going for the 3 9. It's good. Oh, nice shot. So he leads 1 to 0 for Team Goal. And up on 2 is your captain? Yep. He's breaking. See, he's been breaking. He's been hitting him pretty solid. Let's see how he hits him. He's got a very powerful break. Unfortunate there. Nothing dropped. Yeah, Blake. Uh, I believe they did win the first double. I don't know everybody's names yet, but in teams, we're learning. What do you pocket on there? One? I 
don't think Landon can cut it. I think he's gonna. I don't know. This safe is tough. Him? I think. I think he can't. I don't think he can see enough of it to be a safe. But no. I think he's. No, he did. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, Good safe. Wow, that's a that really nice. touchy shot with how these tables are playing. They're playing very fast and slick. Slide a lot, right? Yeah, they do. Sl Ooh. Oh, no. Jackson miscued on the break. Stay down on the shot. Yep. Looks like Landon's got himself a good layout here. Try to take a 2-0 to zero lead. Let's see. Dakota's break. Breaking from the center. I don't think I've seen anybody do that so far. Mm-mm. See how it works out for him. Oh. I've seen I've seen two snap nine balls and they both came from team uh Makani. That's the green team? Yes. Yeah. Um Jose had one, I believe. Yeah, I think he may have had both of them actually. Did he? It was either oh, Jose look at this. or He's David. Go for the nine. He almost a, made the one, too. I that think shot like that, you got to play either the nine or the one. Yeah, you can't really play both. No. I think it was either... I know Jose had one. I can't remember if he had the other or it was David. I know it was one of the two. I, I seen the one Jose had. I didn't see the other one. Actually, it may have been Jazz. No, no, no. I think it was... I think Jazz, Jazz and Jose snapped it. Yeah, it was Jazz and Jose. The golden break. Yep. All right, Mr. Schultz, what are you going to do here, buddy? Come on, Jax. It's not. I would have banked that ball cross-side. But I play more aggressive than most people. I was just talking to one of the guys before. I That's how I play. Yeah. Which I'm not any good, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, did you see a stroke Lanham put on that ball? No, I did not. Yeah, that was a great stroke. He's gonna got a good chance to run out here. Yeah, well, Jazz uh, will be breaking if Landon, well, if he does run out or not. Sh should be. Oh, oh, unfortunate miss. In Actually. Didn't it? It's not bad. He didn't leave it. I don't oh no, that's not a bad, yeah. not a bad leave. If he was gonna miss, that's how he wanted to miss it. Yeah, you got to get lucky once in a while, right? Does that seven pass the eight on uh, table one? From here, it looks like it. From this angle, but from this angle right over here, it looks tight on this screen. Yeah, there's a little gap. He might be able to hit it to the right jaw. Ooh, Landon. That four does not go on the side. I'm right behind it. Uh, ooh, wow. What a shot. Oh, yeah. I don't think he got him, though. I thought he did, but I guess not. I don't know. He might be able to just kiss it. Yep. Uh-oh. Watch the side pocket. Ooh. He left him on the 50-yard line. Actually, no. It's leaning more towards the top left. Yeah. It should be a routine shot. Cut that in the corner and leave yourself for a five. Yeah, they're pretty forgiving. You can probably hit the half diamond here, and it can still fall. Just about right where he hit. Yeah. They're playing pretty forgiving. That's what happens when you put new cloth on. Yeah. Brand new cloth always plays a lot more forgiving than older Warden. one. Get all that chalk and grime and grease. Slows the ball down a little bit when they're dirty. Yeah, slows the down ball. Slows the ball down a lot. And it when you have new cloth, it just completely changes. Uh, how the ball comes off the rail. Well, it changes your whole game, doesn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, it really does. 
because the, the ball slides a lot. You can cheat the pocket a lot easier. Yeah. Boy, he plays a nice game. One one, um, or is it one? No, you just won again. So it's two to zero over there. You know what this score is? One zero. Yeah, I think it's one zero. One zero on the left side and two zero on the right side. Yeah. Jackson. Uh, Jackson. Dakota left him a little, left himself a little bit thinner on the six than he would have liked. Uh oh, you're gonna get on the okay. bad side of that. Oof. Can he? I think he might be able to make it off the eight. I don't know. This. Do you is think tough. he's a little forward of that? That's gonna be a tough shot. It's I don't think he can cut it in the corner over by us. I don't think he can carry him that off to you. He might be able to cut it in the opposite corner, the one by the nine ball. No, he put you safe. Yeah. That's a good shot. Yeah. That's creative. Yeah. Sometimes, oh. sometimes you don't always have to uh, hook them. Sometimes you just have to play containing safety to where they don't have a shot. Yeah. You think he's going to save here? Yeah. I, I didn't just I didn't it on the... Uh, and move the cue ball up by the eight. Right side. No, I'd send the seven behind the eight and the cue ball up table. Okay. See, I'm learning. Now, if the cue ball was back another inch or two, I'd bank the seven up table, and then stick him behind the eight. Looks like. Looks like Jazz does has a really tough shot. He's going for it though. Cut the one in the corner. Oh, overcut that one. Four ball. It was so close. Oh, I couldn't see that one down there. Yeah, the four almost dropped. That's the problem with this table. It's just a little bit too high, so yeah, we should be just looking at the screen. It's just another inch lower. Yeah. Or if we were another couple inches taller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think Landon can. I think he's going to three ball combination. Yeah, he's going for the triple combo. Oh, nice shot. Wow. What a nice shot. Nice shot, Jax. He comboed that? I yeah, wouldn't he watch comboed it. that. Oh, wow. It's a very, very nice shot here. I think Lambo is trying to combo the. One, three. five, four. Yeah. Well, the four ball is a pretty big ball. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh made well, both. Made nice ball. shot. That's how that just tells you how good he hit it when it follows Perfect. the other one in. Can't hit that any better. You got a shot on the two. One. One burst. Yeah, you lose balls when you have that. Oh. little hesitation by Jackson. It's, it it kind of overcut that a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it thought about it before yeah. it dropped. Bank shot. He has a two real bank shot. Yeah. We got Jackson's got one over here, so we'll have to have Brian put that up. Yeah, it's one to one over there, and then it's two to zero. Landon over there. And Landon shooting at the two ball. Does this? I think the six nine combo goes. Oh, that's what he's looking at. I think he's got to get get to the three. Yeah, it's three six nine. And draw back on this one. Yeah, hopefully we'll go up three to zero here. Our team is doing pretty good. Let's see what he does here. He's definitely going to draw. He's aiming real low. Yep. Uh-oh. 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 It's got to go. It's 
See Dakota uh, try break. Landon's eyeing up the tough cut. See if Lanny can knock down this tough three ball. It's pretty difficult. Oh, I thought he was going to hit that a lot harder. Oh, that's tough. But at least he hooked him. See, I think Jazz, Jazz is going to jump. Oh, wow. What a shot, Dakota Bryant. You keep talking, but I got to go adjust the camera. All right. What a shot by Dakota Bryant. Now I think... Uh, this is a tough shot on the two for Dakota. Jazz is kicking here. Wow, I cannot believe he's jumping. I mean, he's not jumping. Jazz. Oh. A millimeter off on that kick shot. That's all it takes, isn't it? Yep. Well, Let's see what Brian says if this is going to be good enough or we're going to have to move that camera. Oh, nice shot. Oh. Oh, he might have to kick. Or he might be able to go. I think he can get the rail first angle. He's got ball in the end. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh. I think he's looking at the oh, setup, oh, that combination, at, right? Yeah, I was looking at the other table. My oh, bad. sorry. Oh, oh nice yeah. shot, Jackson. Ooh. I think he wanted to kind of bump that seven a little bit. Yeah, I think Landon's eyeing up this 6 9 combination. Yep, yep. Gonna come up here a little soft. Drawing, which is surprising to me. Actually, no, no. Depends how he draws. Yeah, I don't know. What, that's not Oh, yeah, I didn't think maybe that didn't go here. Yeah. yeah, maybe it didn't. I think he's. Now he's gonna. I think he's gonna have to draw. And he wants to hit, like, around. Um, around that third diamond, probably. On the uh, left rail. Left long rail. Mm hmm. One closest to the camera. Okay. And come all the way around three rails and Throw get the seven done. back in this. What? Back in the left pocket. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice oh, shot. He drew it what one a rail. shot! Oh, he drew it. I can't believe he drew it there. I would have stunned it three rails. Yeah, but that'll work. Would, even though I don't know anything about pool, but that's the only way I thought I could get you could get back down there, eh? I mean, I saw the draw, but I I think the three railer was a little bit of a better option because see how so he, see how he's kind of in the middle of the table. If he would have gone the three railer, he yeah. would have been farther down, closer to the short rail down there by the seven. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna have to stop and think about this one for a second. It's a tough shot. Almost the rule. If he's got to play that oh. in the corner, you got to oh. hit it oh. and get it high right or left. Or is it uh, mid? I think it's I mid think to spin it. It's preference. I like going high right, just a touch bit right. Oh, nice, nice shot. Oh, he went left. Yep. God. Ball's got to bounce. Get up off that rail. He's oh. fine. Yeah, he's good. He would have liked to have been a little bit farther up the rail, but this will work. Dakota's frozen on the rail. Well, that was a nice shot. Yeah, that was a very nice shot. That's That shot's a lot tougher than it looks. Yeah, Troy. Think. There. Oh, Landon. Buddy. I didn't even, I wasn't looking. What happened? He missed it. I didn't see it. I looked over missed here to nine. watch that one to go in. Oh, that's Bryant, tough. Bryant went that one. Uh, yes, yep. Dakota won that rack. We just have to wait till Brian gets back. He can update the score. Let's see. This is a big shot for Jazz. 2-1 and 3-0 is a big, big swing. Yeah. Especially for your confidence. you got to get that one on the board, you know. Yep. But you can always come back. And he drilled it. Wow, There's what a, a shot. Nice shot. So, um... Landon Hollingsworth leads two to one. 
And uh, the overall score is four to one, I think. Yes, four to one is the overall score. For here comes Brian. All right, here goes Landon on the break. He's got a very powerful break, but it's powerful wow. but controlled. One oh ooh, no oh oh, oh my what a break! God, you see that the ball just hung right there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, obviously you're gonna push out here, but where? He's jump. No, you won't jump that. Just push, right. yeah. Yeah, you can't go anywhere. Pushing into the it's uh, if I'm jazz I'm giving this back yeah he did. Uh, what cute oh he pushed into a jump he can't see it he's got to jump over it oh that's gonna be a tough jump ain't it see Dakota that's a nice shot oh wow that was a really nice shot yeah it looks like he's getting ready to go up three to zero Ooh. Didn't want there. See Landon is jumping. You got a good hit. Good hit. If that two oh took the wrong angle. I don't know. Just the, is the four frozen to the six to where he can't get by? It or is looks that the like five? It, it looks like it's frozen. From here it looks like it's frozen. Yeah, I'm wondering. I don't think Jazz McConney can get to the eight, the four A combo. He could, no, but the three eight. Oh, that's a problem playing draw in these pockets. If you hit, if you don't hit it in the sweet spot. Oh, he missed it. Yeah, it rattled, it bounced out. I think. I think I know what Landon's going to do here. He's going to play up. He wants the cue ball exactly where it is right now. Yeah, come back and play the 3-8 combo and knock that 4 out of there. Yes. you. Since they're frozen, you do not have to... You just have to barely nudge the 6, and the 4 will bounce out enough. Oh, we underhit oh. it. I don't know. No, that thing rolls. Look at that oh my roll. gosh. That was a nice shot. I don't, uh, yeah, Let's I think see what Jax is. Jax is in the Ooh. bank. Cross side. Oh. oh, yeah. These tables they bank long. Yeah. See you later. Oh, gonna play it in the side maybe. Oh, I think the yeah, I think the four goes on the side closest to the camera. See Dakota on the nine. Looks good. Cue ball. Oh. Now Dakota Bryant leads three to zero for I like team that goal. shirt that or that shot he just shot. He just slid the cue ball down, stopped it right there. Yeah. Plays That's a, a four to the five, Stun. six, seven, and then just bring it back down for a nine. Yep. Looks like he's gonna take a three to one lead here. Well, I said that last time, but <laughs> <laughs> been wrong before, right? Yeah. I think this one's a little bit more of a elementary yeah. out. This is always this is always a tough one. You got to watch the scratch. You also can't get below the nine, but you can't get above it either. You yeah. got to get right in between there. He's usually pretty good at it though. There it is. Oh, he under hit it. That 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 table plays a little bit fast though. Yeah, he he hit it. I mean, this is very makeable, but he wanted just. Another few inches longer. Uh, 
Nice shot. Looks nice good. It's three to one. Lane and Hollingsworth leads Jazz McConney three to one. Dakota Bryant's up three to zero on Jackson Schultz also. I got one. See what Dakota can do here. Looks like he can get. Looks like he can get to the one. Oh wow! What a shot! That was a very nice shot by Dakota. It's going to be a little bit tough here. I don't know if the one passes. Oh. It's tough. Jazz McConney breaking. Oh, he scratched. Oh, he made everything and scratched. Oh, boy. That's tough. Is he landing? <laughs> They're just not getting any breaks today. You got to control the cue ball, though. You got to can't. Uh, I don't know if it got kicked or what, but it, it definitely went forward. I didn't get to see that break. So you want to try to get a little bit of a pop on the brakes. So that way you can... Ooh. Uh, sometimes you got to have a little bit of a pop. It controls it a little bit better. Man, you're knowledgeable about this game, kiddo. Yeah. You're teaching me something. You should do this. Next year, don't play. Just come here and you can commentate. <laughs> How's that? I think I'll do both. <laughs> there you go. I'll tell Brian you want a job next year. You'd be our guest commentator. Yeah, I do I do it on the JES quite a bit. Let's see Landon. Hey. What on earth? <laughs> is going on over there? Oh, they're trying to They're trying to trying to block the light from Well, why don't I they need to just turn it off. Well, that's a, a screen for the table. It has logos and stuff oh. on the table. It's, I think yeah, that's, they, part they of got the, it. that's part of the um, raffle they're giving away, that projector and that TV. Yeah. Huh. I didn't know they were doing a raffle. Yeah, they got a raffle over on the table there. If you go over, you spin the wheel for $5, and they have a bunch of stuff on the table that they're giving away. Oh. That's nice. Um, and there was tickets were one for five dollars, and then the TV, I believe, and all the money that they're raising over there, every penny of it is going back to the youth program. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and the other thing is they have a TV over there, with, and I don't know if it's the projector, the TV, or what. Oh, he got it. He got it. Jackson knocked nine in. You see that? Yeah. Well, Jack's on the board. A lot of luck there. I'd rather be lucky than good. <laughs> Sometimes. It's like a little Efren Reyes over there. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Landon's. So he's got a smile on his Ooh. face now. He'd be shooting some pool. And <laughs> Landon's got a little smile on his face because that that ball just barely dropped. Looks like Landon's going to take a four to one lead. Wow, he is tough. Landon got that one. Yep, Landon. Come on, Landon. Let's go. Try to take a five to one lead overall in the matches. And then I don't think they've determined the next two match or next uh players. Yeah, they haven't determined that lineup. Uh, the lineup yet. They wanted to wait and see what the score was so that way they can tell who they wanted to put up. I know it was um Oh wait, no, it's the wrong oh, wait no. No, it's a scotch. It's scotch next time. Yeah, they're going to take a break after this, get the lineup set. And, uh, they'll probably, it'll probably either be, I bet they're going to put up Bryson and Carson in a doubles because neither of them have played doubles yet. Everybody else has played doubles. Jackson scratched on table one. Get in there. On the break. Where's the two? Two's up in the corner. Landon. I 
don't know if he can. I I, th I know he can see it, but I don't know if he can see it enough to make it. He's looking at the potting angle, so that's going to be close. That tells me that it does go because he always looks at the potting angle, no matter how easy the shot is. Nice shot. Very nice shot. You got good shape on the three, also. Should be nice, nice lead for the four. Where would you play that one? Down in the corner the here, four. or combo the side to the seven. I'd probably play it down in the corner. Get up. Yep. Oh, slow down. Oh, he's perfect. Yep, that's good. Now he's just tic tac toe from here. You want to get pretty straight on the uh, eight ball. Not dead straight because you don't want to be on the rail on the nine, but you don't you don't want a big angle. Okay, here where do you play? Play uh, the five with what? I want the cue ball on the right side of the seven, on the right hand side of the table. See, I wouldn't. See, I would have wanted it probably. So what do you do here? Like Draw back. Dead center table and like two two balls over. That's where I would have Now he's drawing it back, here. right? Yeah, yeah. You got to draw it back here, because he doesn't. He didn't have a good angle. Ah, it's a nice Beautiful. stroke. And then straight bottom here, and it should be curtains. Yes. Can't tell you're on that team. <laughs> <laughs> Nice out, nice match. Take a five to one lead. What's Jackson got here? Five ball? Is it a bank shot? Yeah, he's got the five. Oh, he's going to hook him on the eight. Oh. Yep, he got him. Boy, he was holding his chest there, saying that was a... He was like, go, go, Pretty go, go, risky. Go, go. Scary. Very. Yeah, I bet they'll put up Carson and Bryson for the doubles, because neither of them have played doubles yet. No? Do you have to play? I think you do. I think you have to play... Each player has to play doubles... I think. I'm not 100% sure. Carson's only played one match. Bryson's played... Uh, I think he's only played one. Oh, uh, well. If you don't count the team event, I think they've only played one each. I've played... I think most of everybody's only played one, actually. Carson hasn't played since the second match. He lost to uh, Jose Vicente. Oh, yeah, that's right. That Junior. was earlier. Yeah, I, was, I think he lost a 5-3. to three. He didn't play terrible. He played pretty good, but Jose just played a little bit better. All right, Jax, how are you going to do here, buddy? Got to watch the scratch, I'll tell you that much. Yep. Yeah, about where he put his tip is where he wants to come in to that angle. Get back for that seven. Oh, yeah, I think should be okay. I think he's, he's going to have to play short side on the eight ball. Oh, he's drawing. Oh, oh what a what? shot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Nope. 
Oh. That's 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 tough. That's tough. I don't yeah, know. After that nice shot. I don't know exactly what he can do here. Well. What would you do? I'm wondering if he can bank it cross corner and draw the cue ball up. To, oh, looks like he's playing safe. Yeah. It's a containing safety. Yeah. I like that shot. Nice oh, shot. Oh, he drilled it. Oh, nice shot. He's got to do it again, though. This is a two for shot, two for one, two banks. Yeah. Nope. See what he's going to do here. Nope. It's unfortunate for Dakota. That's why they call it pool. Yep. Game of what? Runs. Yeah. So it's basketball. Yeah. Nice shot. Nice out. All right. I'm going to go and see what my team's doing. Nice talk, bud. Man, that kid is something else on the microphone. All right, I got to kind of see what's going on with this. Only one side of the microphone or the headset's working here. Hold on one second. Is that better? Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, so... All right, we got one more uh, junior coming in. So, you ready to introduce him? Which is your name? Colston. All right, so I'm going I'm to step out real quick again. We're going to have Colston come in the booth here. Oh, that was a wild one. All right. I'll All be right. right back. All right, we're going to introduce Colston. We're getting set up here. Hold on. All right, can you hear me well? Yeah, can you hear me, Colston? Yeah. All right, this is Colston Harrison. Harrelson. 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 I'm sorry. I'm Joe. Good. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you, buddy. Where are you from? Uh, Gainesville, Georgia. Gainesville, Georgia. How far is that from here? Um, about an hour and twenty minutes. Oh, you guys didn't have fire drive then? Yeah, eh? no. And where do you play? I play where I play out of. Yeah. Homer's pool room. Homer's. Yeah, they got a nine foot Brunswick gold crowns there. Oh, really? Tight pockets. Yeah. Yeah. Very tight. They they put extended rails on them. Oh, did they? Yeah. You like nine ball? Yeah. Is that your favorite game? Yeah. Nine ball. You play all nine footers? Um, bar tables and you? nine foot. Yeah. How much do you play? A day. Well, during the week. Um, I'm homeschooled, so I play. Uh, all the time. All the time. I play like six hours a day. I got a valley bar box at my house, and then I go to the seven pool. or a nine footer. Seven, Valley seven. seven foot, yeah. And then after uh, after my dad gets home work, he takes me to the pool and drops me off and then comes back and gets me at like 9 o'clock. Dang. Yeah. So like eight hours a day. Dang, that's good. <laughs> yeah. The only way to get better, right? Yeah, it is, yep. What kind of stick do you play with? Um, a Josh. A Josh. Or old school stick. Really? Yep. And, Something uh, that you were given or? Uh, No, I just uh, like the way it plays. Oh, and wow. then I break with a, a Lucky McDermott and a Propel Jump Cue. 
Wow. Yeah. Josh. Where's Josh at? I've never heard of that. Josh Cuse? Yeah. You, you never heard of him? No. Uh, hey, I'm new to this game. I don't know where they make I only know, shows. well, actually, I know Peashower, Jacoby, yeah. McDermott, Mucci, um, Viking, you know, the big brands that I know. Yeah. None of the none um, of the other stuff yet. I'm learning. Predator. You know, predator, predator, I know Predator. Yeah. yeah you know, the common ones that everybody sees on the yeah. streams and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, Josh, the color of money. Yeah, it's kind of like my, my, you never heard of the color of money? Yeah. The movie, my that's what my Josh looks like, kind of. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Has the point to it look like that and has the rings at the bottom looks like that. You did it because of that? No, I just, um, just lucky well, to get I'll that tell one? you the story. So my... I used to shoot with a P3 Predator. Yep. And my dad was playing with a Josh, um, Bradley Harrelson. Um, he's a really good player. And he was shooting with a Josh at the time, and I had the P3 Predator. Oh, nice shot, Jack. Nice shot. Uh, anyway, I had the P3 Predator, and he wanted the trade because he liked a P3. <laughs> so I tried the Josh out, and I ended up liking the Josh better than the P3. Really? Yeah. So we traded, and then ever since then, I just had it. So that's how you got it. Yeah, that's how I got well, it. That's yeah. cool. And I never used to have a McDermott uh, break. break so I used to use a, a BK Rush, the BK Rush with the um, sports grip. Yep. And I have the propel jump cue. Wow. Cute tech. All right, we've got a new life in Jackson here. He's a little bit happier now that he won that one. What's the score on this? Um, Should be, uh, what, 3-3? Three 3-3, three? Three, three, yeah. Yep. yep. Who's breaking? Jackson, Jackson Who's breaking? is. Yep. And... No. Nothing? Nothing. Can the one go past in the bottom right or no? I don't think so. I think he's going to play safe here. Yeah, I don't think he can go either. Oh, oh yeah, wow. it does. I it guess does. we were both wrong. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, see. 4-6 combo. Uh, that's tricky, though. He's back cutting that ball. Yeah, and then how do that's you get back easy. down for the five? Yeah, that's not... It, well, if he makes the 4-6... He's going to have to put pretty decent speed because if he hits the 4-6 soft, it's going to hang right in the titty. Yep. So, right in the jaw. So, he's going to have to play at decent speed if we're going to make it to come out and play top right, make the cue all go three rails, two rails. Here he goes. Or the carom. The carom might be. Oh, wait. He's got the three. Oh. Well, see, that's what that. We can't see that down there. The oh, he's good. I, didn't, I never even oh. see that. I apologize. Ooh. Left jet, left Here up. Comes Dakota. Combo. The cheese. Yep. That's not easy though at all. No. Not at all. To cut it, to cut it. Yeah. Put it, put it like medium speed. Send the three back on the top, uh, top rail. So you don't leave a easy out. Or is he gonna just carry him off of it? No, he's not. Nope. Oh, that's oh, a nice good shot. shot. That was though. solid. Good shot. That's Solid. Good shot. Yeah, Dakota plays good too. Seems like he plays a little aggressive. Yeah, he does. He yeah. does. Yeah, I know. Kind of like know you. Ah, yeah, I'm an aggressive player. Yeah. I like I your spunk. So. Yeah. I, did you see where? Yeah. At the bank. Yeah. Um, I'm watching you. I haven't got to really shoot none today because it's been Scotch double. I've only played one match with the Scotch doubles and. That's the only match I played. That's it. Yeah, and I've only got, I didn't get as much shots because we was hooked and yeah, kind of the only way we won. They kept scratching. We got fortunate on that. They kept scratching like the eight they did, but but we, me and my partner, we didn't get to shoot much. I mean, I I, I didn't have no really runouts because when you when you're playing scotch doubles, you make a good shot and then your teammate can mess up or something. Yeah. So that's why I don't like scotch doubles. That's I, like. I don't either. I I we play that game back in Wisconsin. I don't like playing scotch doubles. Yeah, runs. me neither. You play when you play when you're a, uh, like a rhythm player, and you play solos. It'll, it'll get you out of line quick. Real quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, I totally agree. That's uh, probably one of the biggest hang-ups of the game is you can't yeah. get a real good rhythm. Yeah, you if, you're, if you're playing singles, I like that, but doubles, I don't. No. That, no. So you don't play a lot of doubles? No. No. I mean, I mean, if it's really, I like bar table scotch doubles because on a nine foot, if your partner is like so-so on a bar table, they run out, you yeah. know, because it's a bar table. Yeah. But on a nine footer, if they're like really good, they can run out, no problem. But if it's like so-so, then they'll kind of miss because yeah. it's a nine foot. But on a bar table, I think that you get more shots in because it's on a bar box. That's why I like bar table scotch doubles better than nine footer. It all depends on the shooter, though. Yeah. Who's your favorite shooter? In the world? Favorite player like, in the world? Um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, oh, he's gonna, that's a nice um, leave. You mm, brought that back really nice. I like... Uh, Can we talk old school days? Like yeah, in the prime? Every, anybody who's well in their prime. I like Earl the Pearl in his prime, but now he's not the best now. But no, yeah, he's a lot of fun to watch yeah. though. Um, now I like Joshua Feller. Yeah. Oh, is that it? He won. That's it. That's, oh, it. That's it. Wow. So I'll let everybody oh. Know I I All right, everybody, we're going to take a break here for a little while. What, 10 o'clock. minutes? Till 5 o'clock? Yeah. 5.15, we're going to start back up. Um, 5.15. We're going to take a break yeah. till 5.15. Um, we'll get some other players up here. Kids are going to get some refreshing drinks, a little food, a little rest, freshen up a little bit, come back to the table and attack. I got a question. So yes, um, on the thing do i can play like because i haven't played a single today then does that mean i'm gonna play a single because i haven't yet so we're all i know we're all playing today but I, i'm just wanting to know if i'm gonna play a single. about the format i don't you'd have to ask the director or your captain okay all right guys we're gonna sign out okay, here okay. we'll be back at 5 15 thanks for watching subscribe auto point streaming and We'll see you in a little bit. See y'all. Huh? Okay. Enjoyed it. All right, everybody, Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck back in the booth here real quick before we sign out. So I just want to thank everybody for tuning in here to Outer Point Streaming. We are taking a short, well, about a 45-minute break here for the players to get something to eat and drink and so on. But what I want to do is I want to quickly show you the room here. This is what uh, this is what Sticks Billiards is all about. So I got the, all the, the two tables, the nine-footers here. They got uh, seven-footers. Here's our booth right here. Hey, there's Joe. Joe standing there. Say hi, Joe. And then they got the seven foot bar boxes back here. So I got this cool little camera that view. Go all the way around the room here, show you guys what we're got in store here. We got Eddie Altman over there set up on the table. He's got a wheel to spin. He's also got a projector camera system over there that he's, uh, I think, uh, giving away as well. So anyway. We are signing out right now, and we will be back around 5.15, so make sure you are tuned in, and please hit that subscribe button for us. And as long as you have that subscribe button hit and all your notifications on, as soon as we come back live, it'll send you a notification saying, Outer Point Streaming is back live, and you won't miss a moment here. So thank you again for tuning in. I am Brian Hallelujah Hollenbeck, and we will talk to you soon. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you shortly.